Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Star Lost Seas. I'm Cryolane. Uh, this is the party. Look at them. We love them. Is that a giant cider? Yeah. Oh, that was a bottle of mustard. <laughs> 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 All right. Oh, unintended Pokemon, uh, like, illusion drop there. But all right. Uh, last time on Star Lost Seas, <laughs> we, uh, we wrapped up the last of our activities in the town of Raven's Perch, and everybody set out for Isazvengar. It was going to be a bit of a long travel through very, very cold weather. The The group managed to, to make it most of the way along cliffside paths without much difficulty, but they did come across a landslide that had unfortunately destroyed some previous traveler's carriage killing almost the entire family, seemingly. There was one member missing that Dolus noticed amidst the uh, the various items of the previous carriage, that there was items belonging to a girl who was also visible in a, a family brooch who wasn't there. So, the landslide was cleared, and the, the road was shaped up a bit with the help of Alina and Mara's lovely... Uh, lovely earth shift <laughs> then eventually everyone got down into the the icy valley and had to stop for the night because traveling in that cold of weather without a fire would have been dangerous to everyone's health everyone gathered around the campfire and started campfire taking their shift and uh doc and Hush had a very uneventful ship. Nothing happened. It was fine. It was totally fine. Not true Nothing. at all. Uh, Hush was very sad about mistakes he had made in the past, which was only exacerbated by him attempting to cut down a tree for firewood and almost toppling it down on top of some of the tents. You said attempting. I he did, did cut down a tree. He did cut down a tree. It was a successful. It was not an attempt. And tried to catch it. Tried to catch it. Severely Attempted under to catch Last it. Last session, we all learned how truly heavy a 30-foot tall pine tree is. And it's definitely well over 500 pounds. <laughs> uh, so. But uh, some encouraging words from Doc about making mistakes and improving on them put him in a bit better. Uh, meanwhile, Lotus revealed she had some level of PTSD from her encounter with Gillian a few weeks ago. Things that imply thunder, lightning, and electricity uh, now send her into a bit of a panic. The loud crash of the tree falling awoke her into a bit of a stupor. She eventually went back to bed, and Dolist and Bara took over the next watch shift. Oh no, Twink! Twink and Alina took over the next watch shift. That's correct. Uh, they had some very decent chats. Uh, played a played a prank on Fairmont through scrying and sending, which was pretty funny. Uh, and then as, as the watch was sort of wrapping up, uh, they realized a pile of snow that had been disturbed by the tree was covering the remains of that last family member, the girl who had managed to make it down the mountain into the valley, but hadn't made it the rest of the way. Alina and Twink laid her to rest, buried her near to the camp. Then, Dolus and Mara swapped out, and proceeded to give the most fucking susical eulogy of your entire life. Like, middle school rapper attempts at eulogy, it was quite funny. It was very heartfelt. It was very heartfelt, and uh, he truly, you know, uh, he, like, sorry to that girl. <laughs> He's doing it sorry. again. Uh, no, they did their they did their best, and with some help from Baradorn and a very gentle breeze quite familiar to Dolus, uh, a tomb of sorts was made for this young girl on the roadside, ensuring her body 
would not be ravaged by the element in the foreseeable future. The next morning, the tomb was also blessed by Hickory, who made a prayer. And everyone continued their travel to Isazvengar. Oh! I'm so stupid. I missed the biggest reveal of the night. Dolus finally processed that that strange feeling in his stomach that he gets around Alina, that strange urge to to please and seek the approval of Alina was not some sort of fight or flight response. No, he is in fact in love with her, which he re promptly revealed to Lotus, to both of their freaking out. I wouldn't say he promptly revealed. He fought pretty hard to not reveal. <laughs> okay, it was less than a minute. That's pretty prompt. <laughs> was it less than a minute? She shook me for a while. Listen, if he's fighting for it, it's less than a minute. That's a lot of he's turns looking, of combat. He's looking for the number, 16. but the episode's not out yet, so he, can't, he doesn't know for sure. Uh, but yes, everybody finally continued the rest of the way to Isazvengar. Very nice little town on the coast. They all went straight to the docks, rung up for Lorelei to bring the ship down, encountered a man named Jaeger who was packing crates. And while they waited for the ship, uh, Dolis asked, uh, asked about the identity of the people in the brooch, the Lost Family, and discovered that they are the Wayberry, who came up from a place near Fort Dawn. They, uh, unfortunately, it was the whole family except for an uncle, Uncle Owens, who helps run their vineyard down south. And Dolis made a resolution himself to inform Mr. Owens Wayberry of the fate of his family. And then as Jaeger returned, the ship arrived! Revealing it is all fixed up in great glory, moving just as stupidly fast as you remember it. And it's watertight! Answering that question, finally. It functions properly as a normal ship. The Lorelei pulls it in, loads everything up, but before you go, Mara tells the group that with Noxus constantly assaulting the group, trying to get at him for his connection to Drayden, that he is going to separate for a bit and search for answers. Dolus knows that to some extent, this is because Baradorn told him something, something secret from the rest of you. And so, he took the shipmate, Kaeda, which everyone totally remembered. Everyone totally remembers that she's been here the entire time. My favorite party member. She's basically, yeah. you know, a seventh party member. Exactly! And then uh, they're going to meet up with Pietro in the north. You all got on the ship as Mara looked longingly at you on the horizon. And you went your separate ways. And that's where we ended the last session, and we're going to pick up as the ship is pulling out of port. Your carriage has been firmly strapped down to the middle of the deck. The wheels have been removed, so it will not shift, even if the ropes come loose. And you are all back on your ship, back on the, uh, the aptly named Star Lost. <laughs> Everybody I, I just want to point out the fact that uh, um, Mara's little group that he's collecting sounds like a really dumb joke. Like, a warlock, a tiefling, and a vampire walk into a bar. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> oh, I thought it does. The warlock <laughs> says, ow. That tracks. I'm uh, checking out, I'm checking check out all the, the upgrades. Board. You're checking out all the upgrades? Checking out all the upgrades. All right, well, uh, those ballista that were temporarily mounted to the front during your combat with Vala are now permanently mounted, and I have two more permanently mounted with them, making a total of four towards the, the front end of the ship. Uh, no others have been installed. Uh, a lot of the, the, gener the various woodwork has been cleaned up. Uh, everything's definitely been given a polish. A bunch of the strings and ropes up to the balloon have been sort of organized. It was very haphazard as previously it was just sort of the sails had transformed into that balloon. Now it looks very organized and straight. Almost Zeppelin-esque. 
And if you look by the helm, everything is the same, uh, except for there is now a tube that has a, almost a, like a megaphone opening. And it, the tube runs down and goes below deck, and you don't see where it goes beyond that. Hmm. Lorelai kind of... Uh, no, Lorelai's with Dolus. Uh, in that case, it would be Eggle kind of shadows you, as you do everything. He's the first mate. What do you think? What's the tube? Uh, communication. Where does it go? You want to see? Yeah. Come on. <laughs> he, he takes you down the stairs, past like all the various other party members doing their things and people on the ship. You, you see that there are a number of new faces. Uh, but you being Twink, you want to see the tech. He takes you all the way down to the cargo hold, down both flights of stairs, and as you come down, this shit, this space has been changed significantly. It was all dedicated to cargo previously, and now maybe only a third of it could be used to fill with cargo, because the rest has been outfitted with your baby. <laughs> Running along the center of the ship, the very bottom, set into the floor, so you walk along next to it, is a glass and silver tube with numerous rune stones set along it, connected by these iron chains. There is a little sort of console system set up not too far from the stairs. It's So it's basically like if you step down, your first... 10 feet is normal storage and stuff, and then there's another little step down to this shooting platform. And you can see at the far front, something you hadn't expected or asked for, the front of the ship has been replaced with a glass window that you can currently see underwater in front of the ship. And you get the idea that while the ship is flying, it gives the gunner a clear view. The sort of iron trusses in front of the ship form almost a crosshair. Oh. Eggle walks over to the little console and he arranges a little tube and he goes, communication. Can't fire oh, it from up there. Right. Can you aim it? Or is it like... No, it has aims to be... where the ship points. Yeah, that's what I thought, but that's good enough. Also, when we fire it, the whole flying thing, it just stops for about 6 to 12 seconds. That we gotta work on. Yeah, apparently there's no way we can do that unless we get another power source as strong as the one that makes us fly. Words from your artificer. You yeah, know. no, that's what we're gonna work on. Okay. Wasn't that one given to us by, like, an eldritch... Ocean God? Yes. Alright, well, as soon as you find another one, let me know. Find another one? I'm gonna make one. So, he just starts showing you the console and, like, how it works. <laughs> so we just stop flying for, like, 6 to 12 seconds? Or does the ship just stop? Uh, we start falling. We yeah, just, that's a problem. That's yeah. We did a test shot back on Twink Tania. Uh, a few of us almost fell off the boat. Here's what we'll do. For the time being, we'll have to create some sort of gliding mechanism that will slow the fall and at least let us propel forward. Maybe we make our balloon do actual proper balloon stuff. No. Balloons pop. We'll figure it out. See, you should see when this hits something, though. I, you, I know those, you know those floating things of rock all around Tania? Yes. Yeah, we blew one to piece. Yeah, that's what I thought would happen. I did a similar test with a much smaller version, and I almost destroyed the front of our workshop. Oh, I'm sure your guild loved that. Um... It was I didn't really love anything I did. 
Color me shocked. <laughs> uh, but yeah. Uh, other thing you should know. We have three shots. What happens after the third? It just doesn't work? No, we just don't have the ammo. He goes over to like a chest and he opens it. And there is, as long as you are tall and about as thick around as like your keyboard is wide, are just these big metal rods. <laughs> It takes two people to load it, unless you're Walk or Lorelai or Lachlan. Yeah, and imagine Walk and Lachlan don't get around very well down here. No. And Lorelai's not loading her own gun on her own ship. Her words, not mine. Yeah, no, that tracks. Yeah, I had the twins load it for the test. They bitched about it the entire time. Yeah, also, I don't, were... think we wanna, I don't think we want to give them the big button. No, no, no. So huh. maybe we work out a loader or make these smaller or something. But... Yeah, I'll probably work on tipping them with something so we can make them smaller. Fair enough. Oh, uh, also, all this raw material other than some of the wood and stuff a very very good uh loan from the westwood thanks for their your uh cooperation in the recent war effort a loan mm -hmm. they're willing to give you all the raw materials for half their their council decided a loan that's weird it's a weird way to reward someone to loan them something. I think they also rewarded you with like magic stuff and, and a bunch of other various political connections. Yeah, and I rewarded them with their people. So. That's not up to me. I, uh. I'm just the messenger. But yeah, no. Uh, we are so the is that like forever group. though? Like half off everything? Uh, well, I mean, all of this, they were, they mm. said if it was anyone else, they would have charged you 20 grand. It's just 10. Yeah. All right. Cool enough for me. Cool. Hey, the normal amount. He like turns all the dials. He was showing you back down to zero. It's a really nice view, too. And just gestures at the glass. You see, like, ice and everything going by. Oh, and before you ask if it'll break, uh, your big artificer, the one who's not so bright, he said he could punch it. It would be fine. He punched it? I, I didn't ask. He just said he could punch it and it'd be fine. Oh. I didn't, I didn't really want a demonstration. Yeah, I mean, that's fair, I guess. That man's like 10 feet tall. I'm not gonna ask him to just start punching glass in front of me. Right, but like, then how do you know it's not gonna break unless he shows you it won't break? When I don't he does know. It. I don't know if any of this is gonna break, Twink. I'm, I, I run a boat. It's wood and sails. This is new. <laughs> I've spent the last 20 plus years of, of my life since I got on a ship pulling rope to go one direction or the other. The last like three months you've been turning a wheel. Yeah. I mean, that's an upgrade. Definitely. Definitely. Maybe, maybe eventually I'll tell someone else to turn a wheel. Maybe. How have things been? There's another kid. Yeah, I saw. Lorelai doesn't like that. I don't like it either, but... If Dolas didn't have all of her shit, she might have beat the crap out of you. Then me. Yeah. Yeah. Her soft spot is kid. Well, that's probably why she would have done it.
anyways, you know, aside from that, um, various political things. Uh, yeah, no, that's about it. Just political shit. No war this time? Yet. I feel like I need more. We're probably going to incite a revolution. He just turns and walks up the stairs. Like he does, he doesn't say anything. He just leaves. <laughs> I'll take the time to look over everything. Okay, uh, it's all really good work. I mean, you you being you managed to find any number of little nitpicks that you think could be done. I'll, I'll make something. notes of all of them. I know you will. While you're doing that, meanwhile, up above, in the. Uh, in the captain's cabin, Dolus, you are almost dragged in by Lorelai. Ah, <laughs> oh. oh, my pores are clear and my day is better. Except my pores are always clear. I pick my face, anyways. Oh, uh, okay. <clears throat> uh, just, uh, one moment, and I'll walk over to like her desk, and I'll just hold my hand over it, and then I'll bottled with spite so that it the, the ring falls onto her desk. Almost like spawning stuff in like Gmod or a video game. It just... Oh, no, I was going to go in. You were going to... Oh, you were going in. I want to go oh, in. I thought you were yeah. taking stuff out. I'm sorry. Oh, no. <laughs> you go in. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I bottled her spite um, back in the, the amalgam room of various yeah. things. Uh, I will... Take out, well, I'll summon that chest with all our shit in it, open it, uh, and then I will, uh, right. so I'll, I'll get the, the crate of wines. How much, how many bottles are in this crate? Uh, six. Six bottles? Yeah, so it's like a, medium, it's like a medium crate, like you could carry it under one arm, but it'd be big. Okay, I'll take two bottles out, and I'll, like, put them on a mantle in this room nice. and leave them inside. And then I'll like take the, I'll, I'll like put one hand on the crates and like, I'll, I'll, the crate of the wine, I'll like put it under my arm, like you said. And then I'm like, look, Emma, would I be able to put all of her weapons under my other arm? No. Can I put them on the crate of wine? I, you can, it's a lot. <laughs> you can't, the, the only reason it's in the chest you have now is because the chest you have now is functioning under, like, Acme physics. It's, yeah, like, okay. it's bigger on the inside. <laughs> so I'm, like, I'm you, standing there, and I'm, like, rubbing my chin, just like, hmm. You would need to, like, bear hug all of these weapons to get them all out. Right. Uh, okay, well, so, I'm gonna do that. <laughs> All right. I'm going to get all the weapons bear hugged and then I will start floating and then I'll grab the crate of wine with my talons. Yep. Uh, and then I'll voom out into her captain's quarters. You you voom out and she's standing there very like expectantly as you voom and like one or two little knives like fall to the floor off of this huge collection of stuff that you have. I'll, I like set the the crate of wines down and like step down almost and just like kind of awkwardly like set it all down onto the floor with a bunch of clanks and clamors ta-da <sighs> ah. and some wine i'd found in the woods It's apparently very good. Pops it open with a thumb, and she just pulls the bottle out and just... Pink. Oh. It's got some kick. Yeah, yes. Sure. Uh, she puts it on the table, and then she literally just... Ah, just like back into her pile of sharp weaponry. Um... <laughs> Ah, oh. oh, I could kiss you. 
Mm. Okay. You know, uh, actually, mm-hmm. on that topic, I had a mm-hmm. question. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Similarly, uh, if you're propositioning me, you don't usually say on that topic, especially after I already sort of off. You're no, no, no. To use work. No, no, no. So, who? Well, okay, and don't. D- do not tell anyone that I've asked you this, please. Uh, but if I were to ask anyone on this ship for advice when it comes to Felix, romantic Felix, who would you suggest? If you're talking about love and romance, you're on a pirate ship. Yes. So one of the new people's probably going to be your best bet. Hmm. Or walk. Hmm. If you're talking about romantic feelings, it's me. (laughs) What does that mean? What is the the quotation? If you're talking about sex. If you're talking about sex. Oh, no, no, no. Okay. Then no, if you're actually talking about romantic feelings, you know, it's, it's if it's not walk, it's one of the new people because I don't think I've ever seen Eggled look at another person. Uh, I don't know, I don't know what the twins shit is. Right. Lachlan is actually shockingly delicate. Maybe he knows. All right. All right. Well. Uh, thank you. Oh, oh, also, and I'll, like, unhook the two plus one short swords off of my belt. Put them down. Oh. I, I use it for fighting vampires. Mm. Sorry. Vamp- vampires? Uh, well, vampire, singular. Vampire? Yes. His name is Pietro... Uh, he lives in uh, the north, in the mountains. He's going to live with us soon. Who invited the vampire? I'm like, I sigh, just make a steady eye contact. You you know who invited the vampire. I know who invited the vampire. I want you to say it. Twink invited the vampire. For the record, you were, you were fighting the vampire first. Why were you well, fighting the well, vampire? Well, 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 well. So and now we, he's coming to our country. Well, we were going to fight the vampire. We were going to kill him. Uh, but then, and I wanted to kill him. Trust me. Like you, every every sentiment you have. Thankful. Oh my goodness! Someone is sane. I felt this exact same way, and I was like, why are we talking to the vampire? This is clearly a bad idea. He's going to kill us. He's going to eat people. He does it for fun, actively, always. And then everyone was just like, no, let's hear him out. Let's drink his tea. Go into his little cave where he stays with little beetles and scarabs. And then we killed the beetles and scarabs. (sighs) Grabs the bottle again. (laughs) Like, as she's listening to you, it's just like, (laughs) <laughs> and then and 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 now he's invited to the island and he'll feast on the boars the infinite feast of boars we're just gonna keep inviting monsters to the island to eat the boars not monsters my sister's not a monster i need to work on my choice of words we'll invite fuck it monsters i'll say monsters for now she's not here we're going to just keep inviting monsters to the island to eat the boar? They, I'll, I, I, I like sort of like lean on the desk. They say that it will increase the security because no one will want to mess with the island when there's the vampires and dragons afoot. And I grab the bottle of, <laughs> and I do turn it down a little bit. She, as you go to put it down, she takes it from you and just <laughs> takes another swing. She's like, why did Twink even invite him? Just because he's a fucking vampire? I he, he thought it, I suppose he thought it would be more advantageous to have him around than to sufficient. not. Two dragons. 
And both of the dragons also serve another purpose. I am an admiral, and my sister, despite her odd proclivities, is a very good alchemist. Oh, okay. I wasn't really sure what she actually did there. I showed up to where she was staying, and her and Mara threw paint balloons at me. Uh, so that was just sort of what I assumed she did. I think she could make poison that could kill a whole continent, if I'm being honest with you. Well, I think she can just make that naturally, can't she? Uh, she can, alchemy? which is why the fact that she learned how to make it not naturally is impressive. And weird. Right. I, it's weird, right? Right. I'm not. I'm not crazy. For I'm not the bitch because I think it's weird, right? Well, I mean, you. you uh, well, I don't think you are that. But I mean, you. I mean, you know how to start fires, without using your natural abilities. Yeah. And she can make poisons without. You know, sometimes it's. You know. We were having more, a moment, Dolis. We we're having. A, we were right, having. Right. Right. I mean. You know, sometimes it's not, I mean, I can, and I start floating. I can float. I have wings. Why don't I just use those? I don't know what's happening. Oh, by the way, I can make fingers appear and disappear on my hands. What? <laughs> and you do, do like, you, oh, you make the yeah. finger and she's just like. A lot of developments happened. And then if I try really hard and I like focus and then just. <laughs> and I appear oh, somewhere put, that put, that, put that away. Put that and away. And if it don't disappears. Do <laughs> Open another bottle and start explaining. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, so I mean, you start, uh, you yeah. and I start drinking and, and you start catching her up on things. This is um, also the first time Dolis has drank in since he has come to this material plane. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Back outside. We're going to save the kids for last. We're going to go with Hickory. Hickory, what are you doing? Also, wait, before you do that, how what? fucking dare you, as soon as I proclaim my love to another character, then you offer Lorelai to kiss me? <laughs> <laughs> I thought you'd like that. Uh, anyway. <laughs> the kids fucked off? Yeah, they're going to meet everybody on the ship. Okay. Uh, where are the twins? Where are Frankie and Felix, my boys? Where are my sweet baby boys? Uh, they're currently adjusting a bunch of line on the front of the deck. Looks hey like guys. they're helping tie stuff down for the ballista. Oh, hey, how's it going? My favorite twins. Fair enough. How have things been on the boat? I hear that uh, it's... Well, I saw that it's a bit more put together than the last time we saw it. Well, last time, you left it with a lot of holes. So, yeah, no, we kind of put it back together. We got new folks. Yeah, and old folks. And they point at uh, at where we'll, we'll do a, a flash forward, I guess, uh, where the, the, the kids are currently, Lotus is currently introducing Hush to familiar face to you. Uh, Nori, Nori Leaflet, your little wood elf medic friend who is uh -huh. on the ship. Oh, look at that. She's the only one you'll recognize. The rest are all new. Mm. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I just, I, I was just pointing because I'm like, I'm the one NPC I know. <laughs> Yo! I knew her more than I knew Kaeda. <laughs> oh. um, I got my hand back. Kind of. What's under the glove? Yo! <laughs> Just both of them. <laughs> it's still okay. a little slow in dexterity, but it works. You're a metal woman. Yeah. yeah? That's sick. You know, that... Do you think we could install a gun on it? Maybe knives. Bet those artificers back on Twin Tanya could put a flamethrower in your hand. <laughs> Starts like fiddling with your fingers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hickory just kind of like slowly leans her head. It's like, Doc, please stop screaming. Please stop screaming. I know you want it. I know. <laughs> what else happened? What's Yubawa like? Cold. Other than fucking cold. <laughs> yeah, they both just say it at the same time. 
They both um, have coats on, kind of like Eggolds, but a little lighter. Well, um, right now it's kind of chaotic, in all honesty. Yeah, that happens anywhere you go. This time it beat us to it. Eh, it was waiting for you. That's a fair way to put it. Um, King Matthias is, for the public's knowledge, dead. Weak. But is alive and now we're trying to depose the new king. Yo, <laughs> they just kind of like nah. Okay, that's, so that's cool. Kind of where we're going next, and I started bounty hunting again. Bounty hunting. Yeah. Right, you're a bounty hunter. Yeah, before uh, all this started, that was what Doc and I did. How'd it go? Good. We um, met a vampire, uh, killed some things from the Shadowfell, uh, killed some wolves. Mara left, but you were there for that. Um, and we met Hush. She just kind of like gestures over <laughs> at Hush across the Cool, dock. more weird kids. Yeah, um, if he tries to talk to you, you'll only hear it in his head. He can't exactly, um, speak. Telepathy. Yeah. Nice. Some people think that we have telepathy. Do you? We'll never tell. They say, like, at the exact same time. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, it was nice seeing you guys again. I'm gonna go make sure that the kids don't set the boat on fire immediately. Okay. Uh, meanwhile, just a few minutes ago, it is the children time. Children. Right, everyone, get a pillow. Yeah, yeah. Everybody, get buckle up. Everybody, buckle up. About to meet a bunch of NPCs. <laughs> not remember anything that's about to happen. Nope, nope. Not even gonna try and write it down because I won't remember. <laughs> Let's go. Shivering. Right, yeah. Because he's being dragged along to go meet people. Uh, Eggle walked away with Twink very quickly. And Hickory walked over to talk to the twins. Dolus was dragged into the cabin by Lorelei. So you are left. As far as people you know on the top deck, there is Lachland, who is tying down the carriage. And there is Nori, who you spot. Um, is Lachlan closer or is Nori closer? Play rollies with me. Okay. Figure out where you are on the deck. 13. All right. Lachlan's closer. Okay. <laughs> oh, this is going to be great. Um, I'll, I'll walk up to Lachlan. Lachlan! Uh, he Lachlan. stands up to like full height. Hush, he's like four times your height at full, like full standing. Hello! Hello, we're back! This is Hush! He's a new friend! Hello! He... He... Um... He talks into people's brains. Is it okay if he does that with you? Not the weirdest thing on this ship. Okay, that means you can talk to him. He like... He like... He like crunches... Hi, I'm Hush. <laughs> Hi. He's very big. He's very strong. I'm he Lachlan. I can see. This is only to to, to to Lotus and Lachlan. I. Very big. Yeah, I'm a Goliath. We're big. <laughs> Cute. Goliath. Thank you for letting me on the boat. You're very small. <laughs> mm hmm. Okay, we just wanted to say hi. I hope you've been doing well. I'm doing okay. Okay. Are, are, do you... Are you the person that lifts things? Whenever they need me to lift. Yep. Yeah, I'm the one who lifts. 
I can't. That's what Lachlan's here for. He says he's, he's like tying another knot down. <laughs> he's just like like crumbling. This is the tallest man. Uh, I can help you lift things. Can you? He's very strong. Oh. Okay. Mm -hmm. I can lift. Can you, you lift that crate? He just points at a crate off to the side. Uh, he looks. Like, is it full of things? It's yeah, full full of bolts for the ballista. Oh, uh, like really heavy? Pretty heavy. Hush, like you, you, you see Hush's eyes do the thing again, and like the halo goes around his head when I levitate it. It it like shakes. And it lifts. It is heavy. It is approaching your limit, but it is not there yet. So it, it just lifts. like lifts it and starts moving it. Other that way, that way. He like points towards the front of the ship. You wound it back over. Frankie and Felix, as Hickory's like chatting with them, one of them just watches you like set the thing nearby, and they're just like. <laughs> then they go back to talking to Hickory. Like, See, I can lift things. Pretty cool. He reaches his hand down for a high five. It's like the size of your head. He feels a hand touch his hand, but does not touch his hand. Like, <laughs> it is. It is. It is an invisible. It's a visible mage hand that kind of just like. <laughs> Let me know if you need anything, and I'll be happy to help. Okay. Mm. Thank you. Thank you, Lachlan. Oh. Yeah. Drag him. I'll drag Hush away to... Tarts just like looking up at Lachlan. Like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> just another like... <laughs> uh, I'll go to Nori next. No, will be like, you're here! Hi! Hi! It's been like... <laughs> two weeks. Two yeah, weeks? It's been like a, it's like a week and a half. Well... How have you been? This, the, um, this is Hush. This is Nori. Hi. Okay, that was your name, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. She, she, she gave me like this, this hard bit of food when I was super injured during the war, before the war, during the war. She, she gave you food and before and during. Before and during. Good. Hush reaches in into his cloak and pulls out a piece of butterscotch. He lets it go and it starts floating over to her. Oh, I'm I don't eat sweets. It slowly floats back into his head, and then just connect her head and goes. You're not big like Lachlan. <laughs> she has like a moment of like shock. <laughs> then she's just like, "Oh, okay, telepathy." Hi, hi. That's jarring. Um, hi, it's good to meet you. You saved Lotus? Um, I saved might be a little much. I I help. Um, I'm a medic. That's that's what I do. That's what I'm. That's why I'm here. And she like gestures. I'm I'm the medic now. Make sure everybody's okay. You do a very good job. Thank you. <laughs> I I didn't really. I didn't really know where else to go. Um, my what? my house is floating now. Uh, well, I mean, oh, I'll tell you about oh. that later. <laughs> it's okay. Don't worry about it. Um, I mean, I feel like I should be worrying about it. I mean, no, it's no, all it's okay. like three pieces, but the floating part is really it's it's really critical. <laughs> Yeah, don't don't worry about. It. I'll tell you later. Um, I mean, can you have stayed with with Arlashna and and Ulyss? Yeah, I could have, but I stayed on Twingtania and I helped with the wounded. And then once all the wounded were separated or healed or back home, I I don't know. I'm a war medic. Hmm. I do war medic thing, and. You guys are fighting the Sarlost, and the Sarlost are the ones who, you know, helped blow up Sanctuary. So I thought, hey, you know, this is probably the place to be. 
We're happy that you're here. Thanks nice getting to see you again. It's good getting to see you too. Yeah. Okay. Oh, and good, good to meet you. you. Hush. Mm -hmm. yes. Hush. Okay. Okay, okay. All right, we're oh. gonna go meet everybody else. You can go meet. And she like points at another wood elf who is up on the back. Yeah, there's a pair of wood elves. And she's like, that's my friend Tassidy. And uh, and it's her friend Runner. Okay, okay. We're gonna go say hi to them. Is that Tassidy? Just Cassidy with a T? Uh, T-A-S-S-I-T-Y. And oh, Runner? T. And Runner. The word Runner. Okay, thank you. Um, how many more are there? A lot. Let's go. Oh, yay. <laughs> Drag him off. Dolus, you hear it in, in your head. Save me. There's so many people. <laughs> you you, you, you made way for Drake to Lorelei in your head. <laughs> yeah, you hear that in your head, Dolus. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like I, I'm in the middle of saying something. I'm like, I'm sorry. And I'll <laughs> <laughs> respond. Dolus is plastered. <laughs> <laughs> you hear hush in your head. Uh, I, 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 Lotus is really, is, she's very capable. <laughs> Dolus, I don't think. Are you okay? Oh. Uh. <laughs> I tell Laura, like, sorry, no, the, the little one, he talks to us in our heads from. He's a telepath? Uh huh. Oh, fuck. Yeah. He's Next. talking to me right now. Are you, are you, why, did somebody hit you on the head? Yeah. Yes. No, but I'm okay. No. <laughs> the Lotus. <laughs> Dolus, and you hear Dolus and Lotus. Lotus, Dolus' head got hurt. Wait, what? what? No, gosh, tell her I'm fine. I'm <laughs> just, I, I promise. L L Lorelai is tending to my brain damage. I promise. <laughs> this is healthy. This is healing. Is he okay? Do we have to go check on him? Apparently Lorelai is tending to his brain damage. How did he get brain damage? How did you get brain damage? It's been a long month. It's been a long <laughs> few weeks. Apparently it happened a month ago! What? What happened a month ago? <laughs> what happened a month ago? Well, you see, you know, it's a friend you haven't met, you know, his name is Archibald, he did this whole thing, and he fell out of the sky, um... From Lorelai's perspective, you're just like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, as, uh, uh, Lor Lotus will be able to explain, ask her what happened with Archibald when we fell out of the sky. There's something about Archibald falling out of the sky. Oh, that was, that was that. Why did he say anything? It was because he got brain damage from that. He must have did had he... a headache for a long time. I've been in Wait. his head. It doesn't seem like it's damaged. Wait, how did he get brain damage? We flew down. We have wings. Dolus, you have wings. Thank you. How did you get brain damage <laughs> and you have wings? Uh, it's... Twig! Dolus is brain damage! <laughs> Hickory, you can heal! Dolus is brain damage! No, Dolus! Hickory is like in the process of walking up to them when she just gets assaulted yeah. in her head. No, I was literally gonna say, I'm like, Hickory is, you don't know because she's behind you. You're like at the top of the stairs and she's like at the bottom and you just boom. <laughs> Bro, Dolus is brain damage! That. Go so help him! Is Hush, that... I don't need help. Tell them I did not to stop. I don't need help. What if that's the brain damage talking? Hush. Please. Okay. Okay. He's fine. Are you sure? I think so. Okay, well, we can check on him after. We We're checking on you, up on you later. Please don't. I will meet up with you damage. later. You should... Okay. 
<laughs> connect back to Lotus. He said he'll can he'll he'll meet us later. Okay. Do you do you think all like the changing might have like accelerated the brain damage? damage? Maybe. Maybe it like changed his brain. Hickory just walks up the stairs, you both like grabbing your heads in panic. <laughs> She's just gonna like <laughs> puts a hand on both of their heads. Dole is in the in the the thing as Hush stops talking to him. He's like. So anyway, then there was these fire people. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was just staring at him like... Yeah, they're crawling up on the walls <laughs> and like spiders. Yeah, so it just walks up and like palms both of your heads. Don't, I'll get brain damage. <laughs> Apparently, Dolan's has been having brain damage since a month ago. Uh huh. <laughs> he was, he was like talking. He was like his words were like like slow, and we'll have to check on him later. <gasps> we can get Nori to help. She's the medic. Yeah, she's a war medic. Hi, I'm sure lots of people get brain damage during wars. Hi. Why's your glove off? Oh shit. <laughs> She just kind of like pulls her glove back on and then looks up at the at the two wood elves and is just like, "Hello." Oh yeah, I'm we're Hickory. gonna go meet them. Let's go. Oh 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 okay. <laughs> Hickory's like adjusting her glove as, as she follows the kids, because at okay. this point she's babysitting. <laughs> yeah. And you come up on a pair of wood elves at the back of the boat who are like looking over. It's like a very typical wood elf man with like the brown hair back in a braid. He's wearing he's wearing similar gear to what uh names? Patron. He's wearing similar gear to what Patron was wearing. Uh the the woman is also wearing that sort of similar gear, but she's got short, sort of tasseled hair shaved side and she's just like i'm telling you i could get a fish it wouldn't be that hard we just tie a rope to the arrow i could totally nail a fish this water's so clear and he's like i don't think you can nail a fish not more this fast hi oh he like he, he straightens up immediately and he's like huh hello what pleasure to meet you hi he elbows him in the stomach and he's just like oh. hello. hi you're new. No, I'm not. No, we've been we've been here for like a week. Well, I'm a um. What do they call it again? No, admiral is highest. What's the officer? Yeah, that. I'm an officer, so technically I'm old. <laughs> the girl just like looks at you with like a smile, and she's like, "Okay." Yeah. No, okay. she's not joking. I connect to both of them and go, but I'm new. <laughs> they both just back against the railing. <laughs> Seeing them kind of like bash against the railing, Hickory's just like, what do we say about warnings? How am I supposed to warn them? We need to get you okay, a, can... like a piece of paper. <laughs> That's the line he holds up. I'm a telepath. Yeah, <laughs> a business card or something. I'm a telepathic. This is how my name is talking your head. It's like the it's like the hi I'm deaf name tags they give to people. Yeah. God. I'm hi, Lotus. I'm you can I talk in your head? I'm Lotus. This is Hush. This is Hickory. Hi. Hi. Well, hello, officer. Lotus, it's good to meet you. I'm run. I, I'm Adi. It's good to meet you. He's runner. Don't call him Adi. <laughs> What's Adi? I just Adi is my name. Call him runner. We all call Sorry, him wait. Runner. What's... <laughs> wait. Which one? Are you runner? And the guy's like, I. Yes, I'm. Yeah. Is Adi like a fake name, or is it like the preferred Adi name? Adi is that like my have? actual name. Runner is the fake name. Oh, is it because you run really fast or run a lot or? Oh, 
Should I tell them or should you? He's just like, I, I, you'll, you'll interrupt anyways if I tell them. That's fine. Go right ahead. It's like, so, way back in training, like 150, 200 years ago now, uh, we were off in the forest. We were supposed to find certain herbs. We were supposed to watch out for dangerous creatures. The main goal was to get what we needed and get back home, regardless of safety. Suddenly, we hear something out in the underbrush. Adi here. Bravest elf I've ever met. The moment he heard something step next to him, gone. He ran all the way back to Sanctuary. Day and a half. And he's just like... It was a loud step. It was a deer. <laughs> oh, we can eat those. Yes. Well, I mean, we don't. We're vegetarian, but yes, you can I'm eat those. Of deers. I'm not afraid of deer. No, I didn't. I didn't know it was a deer. I thought it was something much larger than a deer. And it was my first outing, so naturally, my goal was to just, you know. Get herbs, get back home. I thought, no need to fight something. We pet the deer. We pet the deer after Adi ran. But that's why he's runner now. How'd you do with the werewolves? Means. They both just are like, well, I, you know, didn't run away from them. He didn't run away because we're archers now. Ugh, shut up. <laughs> what, do, what does vegetarian mean? We only eat plants. Or plants. I do that. Is that. Does that make me a vegetarian? It's like both not at you. Is butterscotch made of butter? Hang on. This <laughs> 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 is both are like, what? I don't think butter. Like a, like a piece floats out. And it's like, I don't think this is made of meat. By the way, if it is made of butter that's still vegetarian, you're thinking vegan. Yeah, also, also it is made with butter. Uh, yeah, I, it's yeah, that was sugar just, and butter. That, I just wanted to know at that point. I was just curious. <laughs> Everybody at home. Not butter, scotch, brown sugar, and butter. The more you know. Yeah. yeah. We do that do, a lot. Do I do I get any like powers for being a vegetarian? <laughs> look at each other <laughs> they just like look at each and then they're like do we get like magic vegan powers no no that's kind of Could I? oh they're already so powerful as is vegetarian sounds like like a whole like like admiral officer vegetarian <laughs> it just sounds should we start calling you vegetarian hush Vegetarian hush. I like that. <laughs> next person, and he like he like he like pokes it. Next person, next person that we meet, you gotta introduce me as vegetarian hush. Okay, okay, I can do that. His background is vegetarian. <laughs> His background feature is the moral high ground. <laughs> so why did it? Why did you guys come on the boat? Why didn't you guys go with our last son, Ellis, back in Riverton? I had to watch Nori, like, ta like Tassidy just gestures. Oh, yeah, yeah. I like Nori. She's my little sister. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Mm hmm Well, always nice to do meet you wanna, new do people. Do you want to tell them why you came with? He's like, I don't have any other friends. He doesn't have any other friends. <laughs> oh, it's okay. We can be friends. We can be vegetarian friends. We can be vegetarian friends with the two strange children. Yes. Do you like uh, cards? She's, she's she's an officer. What? I got to agree. What? Do you like cards? Yeah. I've never then played. Yeah. You've never played. Nope. What did you do in Sanctuary? Boring shit. I'm from a literal hole in the ground, so I guess that's fair. Grow up with gnomes? No, in Ice Home. 
<laughs> they like look at each other like, oh shit. <laughs> Back to you. It's impressive. I'd Where's love to get to know you guys. Um, Just, you, you know, you got like at max like a 50-50 chance on whether you talk to me or my brother. Uh, well, there's really no point in hiding it because we're going to be on the same boat. Um, my brother and I currently share like a state in existence. And every time we sleep, it's kind of just a roll of the dice to see who wakes up. This is old news for us, so here, take these butterscotch that Hush has been offering to you guys, and we're going to go talk to other people. Okay, wait. The Australian. You, like, they're suddenly not sure about you leaving them alone with Hickory, despite how strange you were at first, <laughs> now that Hickory's trying to explain this. <laughs> I was like, I'm the weird one. Hold up, let's go. <laughs> yeah, they, the they just kind of, like, quietly take the butterscotch. Yeah, I was just they're, like, hush his hand and walk off. And, like, as, as he's getting pulled, I was like, they're Australian, you can eat them! So you heard two people. Mm -hmm. While you explain that, the kids. <laughs> <laughs> uh, on the top deck, you're not going to come across anybody else right now. Okay. Uh, Is that unless everybody? You want to go everybody? To Felix and Frankie. Oh yeah, let's go to Felix and Frankie. I thought we were done. That, that doesn't look no, like there's anybody else out here. There's an underground, too. Well, not an underground. Under ship. Under cargo hold. We're going under the ship? Yeah. All right, let's go. Felix, Frankie! <laughs> hey, little girl. What's up? Hi. This is you Hush. You have a new weird little friend. He talks into people's brains. I hope that's okay. You didn't say Oh, this right. is vegetarian Hush. I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> Telepathy, cool. Yeah, this is the vegetarian. The head. Hush. I'm a vegetarian hush, and this is Officer Lotus. Cool. <laughs> like, just kind of They're like, she was already an officer when we met her last time. We and we know her, so we we've listened to her the whole time we've known her. Yeah, absolutely following orders all day, every day. Yes. And, and I guess we won't give you jerky. Like in 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 those, do I? Am I? Is vegetarian above them? Vegetarian. Is what? It, is can I tell them what to do, or is that only you? I think it's only me. I don't really tell people what to do. I just kind of like oh, just gonna, gonna tell hang them. around. Can you tell them as like your officer to take these? Okay. Pull out two more pieces. <laughs> You don't even have to tell them. before you even like say it. They're just like, "Oh, butterscotch, fuck yeah!" Like they take them, <laughs> like from my hands. I love that mm -hmm. Lotus uses her officer powers to make people take candy. <laughs> <laughs> like Lotus is flat out like, as an officer, I and they're just immediately toss them back in their mouths, just like, "Hmm." Officer Good. of sweets, Lotus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So these are the twins. They're like Hickory and Doc, but they're like. Separate bodies. Yeah, but we're two people. Not two people, one people. Yeah. Maybe we're one people, two people. Oh, Are I you guys ever going to become... Are you guys ever going to do the same thing? What do you think? Ah, I live enough with you as it is. Hmm. Okay, do you know I see how it is. <laughs> you, think, you don't think you could share a body? I mean, we basically already share a brain. Really? No. I can connect one same. of you and then speak to the other? No, it's the same. Oh. Do you, not oh. Have, do you not have telepathy? Maybe. I'm going to say one thing in the other's head. And you got to tell me what they're saying. I said. I, I say okay. to the one on the left and I go, Butterscotch rocks. I looked at that and I go, what did I, what did I say in his head? They look at each other. Make a perception check. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. Nope. One. Well, <laughs> Six in total. I don't know why that was so funny. Just, <laughs> 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 One. <laughs> One. 
Um, <laughs> One! That was a really good impression, actually. Good job. Um, no, that's two. But yeah, no, they just like look at each other. And you, to, to, to your eyes, they just look at each other. And then he just goes, Butterscotch rules? Is that what you said? Yeah. <laughs> There's another telepath. Telepath. Are you vegetarian? No. Yeah, meat's awesome. They can speak in their heads as well. That's good to know. That's good to know. Um. Well, cool. if I if I need to talk to you, I can only connect to one of them. Uh, that saves me. That saves me head space. Mm -hmm. Uh, besides. Besides Tassidy and and Audi Runner, Elves and Nori, is there who else is new on the ship? Are there more new people? Oh yeah, they're probably down eating food right now. We rotated like a shift. Oh okay, all right, we're gonna go meet them. Let's go, hush. <whistles> okay. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> You can like, you can tell uh, Lotus every time you pull him he's still shaky, but at this at this point he's like not anymore. As <laughs> he as you're like charging his battery. If there's nobody else on the top deck, we're gonna go go down. Down you go. Yes. You head down to the galley. Behind the stairs. Or just in front of the stairs. Hmm. The the doors are closed, so you have to open them. You open them, and a shocking view to see is a table full of just faces you've never seen before. <laughs> All being served by Walk, who as you open the door, he's like handing a bowl to somebody and he just goes, like completely drops the bowl in front of them like a solid half a foot, and they're just like, God, God, he's like, Spoon Girl! Spoon Man! Oh, are you okay? Come here, come it's here, it's come it's here. It's he comes, he picks you up, and he's just like, "Are you, are you all right? Are you good?" And he like just starts <laughs> turning you around to make sure you're okay. The new get up. Mm -hmm. It's very warm. Look, I have a new friend. His name is Hush. He speaks into people's brains, so I hope it's okay that he's speaking into your brains. <laughs> he is small. <laughs> he is back down again. Put you back down next to Hush, and he's just like, "Well, hello." This is Hush. This is Walk. I oh, you can screen. talk to me. I don't bite. What did she didn't say? What did she say? What did she didn't say it right? Oh, oh, I keep forgetting. This is vegetarian Hush. Oh, is there a carnivore Hush I should look out for? Um, no, I don't think so. <laughs> right. can ask because, well, I think I'm the only one. Well, with all these wood elves on board, I got more vegetarians than I can count. They might have to settle for pescatarian, though, because we got a lot of fish. Pesky. Like. Big word. Don't worry about it. Ooh, oh. butterscotch. <laughs> it's like the tiniest little fucking thing in his huge hand. He's who's, who's bigger, Lachlan or, or Walk? Lachlan. Not as big as Lachlan, but you're still really big. Get that a lot. <clears throat> well, oh. I'll make sure to get you something you can eat. Ain't no good ship chef if I can't make sure everybody's well fed. Everybody, officer on deck! He, like, does a salute to you, Lotus. <laughs> and all the people on the table are like, oh, shit, oh, shit, shit. And they like, get up and do their various little salutes. <laughs> can I look around? <laughs> to, to Lotus, who's like right next to him. <laughs> Can, I want to meet everybody. Who's who? Uh, he just like sets you up so you're like right at the head of the table to see everybody. There is, hang on, I have to count. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. There are six people this to say. Billy, them. Silly, Willy, <laughs> Tilly, the dwarves <laughs> and the hobbit. Bob. <laughs> okay. This is grumpy. This is <laughs> no sneezy. Uh, there is Peter a Lois. tabaxi, two humans, two halflings, and a heron gun. Oh, fun! Hi. Okay. Uh, 
okay, okay, one by one. I want to know uh, who you are, where you came from, what is your favorite candy? And, like, they're all, like, still at attention. Walk is like, I was fucking with you. You can all sit down. He goes back to his pot. Oh. <laughs> can, can you tell them all? Oh. I... This is... This is Vegetarian Hush. He's my new friend, and he speaks into people's brains, so I hope it's okay. The Herring God's like, yeah, no, we, we heard, uh, we, 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 heard, we heard you tell, we heard you tell him. Oh, yeah. Okay. To the Herring God immediately. What are you? I like your ears. I'm a Herring God. Harry, Harrigan? Herring God. Harry God. Herring God. Herring. Get it right, it's a hair and gone! <laughs> Up on the table. <laughs> he pulls a gun, it's Wilfred. <laughs> what's, well, what's your name? Where'd you come from? What's your favorite candy? I'm Lou Reek. Lou Reek? Oh, that for me, please. I'll, I'll, I'll just type them all out for you down here. <laughs> how, tall is this, how tall is this bunny? He's your height. <laughs> with the ears? Uh, no, with the ears, he's taller than you. Okay. Head to head, he's like your height. He's just like... Lou Rick. I'm an archer from the Westwood. One of the best. The best. Those other two, One would those, argue. Those other two are archers. Those other two are fucking wimps. <laughs> hmm. Did you tell them that? They didn't say they're wimps. Oh, they wouldn't. No elf would. Is, are they archers or are they wimps? There's a Give lot of multiple things. There's a lot of different things you can be on a ship. Expand your mind, kid. God. <laughs> Goes back to the pool. <laughs> I can do that really well, actually. Okay, okay. Next person. One of the halfling gets up and he's just like, I'm farvel. You are you. I'm Farvel. I sound like this. Okay, okay. Where'd you come from? Um, we're all from the Westwood. He, like, just oh. gestured. Okay, okay. Uh... Well, except for those two, he points at the two humans. Okay. They're from your island. Oh, candy. okay. Candy. Favorite kind of candy. Oh. Uh, I'm, I'm the chance to red licorice. Red, red I pull licorice? Red licorice. Oh, he just takes it and starts eating it. Okay, okay. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Do you like black, do you like black licorice? Mm. I like it better. <laughs> okay, okay, next. The other halfling. Like, they've got little goggles on the top of their head. And a, and a pretty big, like, cloak kind of thing. And they're just like, I'm click clack. Okay, okay. Artificer yes. from the Westwood. Great at alchemy. Great at uh, trying to make technology out of wood. That's really all that they do there. Oh. Candy. Oh, I don't really like candy. Oh. I don't like this one. It's, it's okay. It's okay. Uh, okay. Uh, next. <laughs> I love this rapid fire. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, up next, I, I guess we'll just do the last non-human, the, the tabaxi. Does, like, a really nice little bow. Uh, and she just, in a very light voice, is like, I'm Kite. Kite of grass. Okay, okay. Kite, kite, kite of, grass. of grass? Kite of grass. You're a kite of grass? That's my name, yeah. That's pretty. I'm kite of grass. You also came from Westwood? Yes. What did you do there? I was a carpenter. I helped make ships. Oh! When I saw your airship, I just had to be on board. What's a, what does a carpenter do? They make things out of wood. I made but, ships out of wood. Lotus, Lotus! Uh, yeah. You show the trinket that I gave you. Oh! Yeah! They put it on the table. That's fine whittling. I did it with this! Oh! <laughs> the Herringon's just like, No weapons at the kid! 
No, no webs at the table, kid. Fuck. God damn it. <laughs> just goes through this bowl again. It just like, it like fiddles. And goes, <laughs> the weapon's my mind. I have expanded it. Oh, he's, he's a smart really I don't like him. <laughs> I don't okay, like okay. him. I don't like him one bit. Well, you have to. By order of officer. And of vegetarian. Officer. Yes. You can either throw me off the ship, or you can deal with the fact that I don't like the kid. Those are your choices. <laughs> um... Lotus, no. A- <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Moving on. Oh, no, what's your favorite, favorite candy? What's my favorite candy? What's your favorite cake? Hey, hey, what's your favorite candy? <laughs> Me. I like. I, I just like having some some little maple drop. Do I have any? Oh, I don't have what? any. What about butterscotch? Uh, I uh, graciously accept your gift. Wait, do you like it tasting like maple, though? Or would you rather it taste like butterscotch? I enjoy the flavor of maple. Puts it away. You see a little, like, sparkle. Little thing in the back. <laughs> in, 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 his, in his cloak, you hear, like, a little... Fling. Try it now. Thank you. I am so sorry to interrupt, but I must, for my note-taking purposes here, cry out. What was that Harrigan's favorite candy? I know we asked him. There's got to be thorough here. I, we didn't ask him that. You, yeah. you didn't ask him that. <laughs> I mean, you asked him. You, what is your favorite him. candy? No, Intimidation did, check. Like, what's your name? Where are you from? What's your favorite candy? They said oh, they really have... said that to everyone. Yeah, we didn't. We didn't ask <laughs> that to the right. He doesn't get candy, I guess. No, I forgot. I, I should remember. What's your favorite candy? It's me. Too dead in the face, cross the knees. Just... Cookies. Oh, I don't have any cookies. I have... This is more mm. acceptable. What kind of cookies? Oatmeal oh, raisin. No! <laughs> <laughs> Intimidation check. No. <laughs> <laughs> you pick the least kind. Good kind of cookie, but it's still a cookie. That means I'm the only one who gets to eat it. That's what you think. <laughs> That's what you think. <laughs> My man's out here like oatmeal raisins, disgusting. It's the worst. That means I get to eat it alone. No. <laughs> Fuck. I am a spiteful child. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait three episodes from now for when Hush is shoveling oatmeal raisin cookies into his mouth. Just, show that tears, funny. Like, just tears <laughs> streaking down his face. <laughs> Yeah, so the two humans turn to you and just... Uh, I'm... Peter Gell. Good to meet you. Hmm? Peter. Peter Gell. P- Peter. Peter. Hmm. And you came from Trentania? You two both came from Trentania? Did? I, well, uh, this is Gerder, and the, the woman just kind of like nods at you. She don't talk neither. Oh! What do you mean she doesn't talk... I mean, she can't. Connects to her immediately. <laughs> Cause, hi, I'm Hush. You could talk in my head. Uh, it's less like a voice, uh, and it's more like thoughts forming sentences, uh, because you get the idea that it's never talked. So in her brain, she doesn't have a voice that she thinks mm-hmm. of. <laughs> so yeah, just oh. This is interesting. It's, I like that. Inspector, she said that it's interesting and she likes this. She can talk. I can make. I can. I can help her talk. I oh. can't talk either. Isn't that nice, Gerder? And she just like does a big nod. <laughs> and he's, he's like, Lotus. This is the first time he's put force into this. He's shaking you. <laughs> Talk either. <laughs> if you and, and he goes, if you ever, if you ever need to talk to somebody, let me know. Mm-hmm. Of course, I will. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Dude, it fucking pulls out like four buttons. Here. 
hey, why the fuck does she get more butterscotch than the rest of us? Because she can't <laughs> talk! What was that, the Hunter Aaron gun? Yeah. It, and then in Herogod's mind, dark, because she can't talk! <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> Talks under the table. What uh, are you, do you also have jobs here? I'm an artificer. Okay, okay. I came on do? the ship so I could manage the rail cannon magnet gun thing. Gerda, what do you do? It's like I was a ship hand. Uh, my ship was in the in the port when uh, when their old ship blew up. She's a ship hand. Oh. A, a thing blew up. Well, I am happy that you are here. We'll, we'll see each other lots because I'm an officer and I am cool like that. In yeah, they, they all like mutter various, like, yeah, no, it's good to meet you, like all of them. <laughs> what is this all? I met I met the Nori and her friends up and then um You met the three just... elves. Mm hmm Did you ask the humans what their favorite candy was? Oh well, yeah. You two, what are your favorite candies? I just gave them candy before I fucking even asked. Them. True. Uh, <laughs> this is such a fun time. Uh, Peter Gell is like, uh, I really prefer pastries. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, Gerda, are you the same? Gerda? And she's just like, I like any sweets. The most powerful whistle that you can muster. <laughs> it sounds like a fucking steam train. Everybody's just like, oh, oh, walk like, oh, is he broken? Is he broken? <laughs> what, did, what did we do to him? What did he, what did she say? She likes, it. It just, it, this is just in everyone's head because it's excited. She, she likes all sweet things and she can't talk. <laughs> in everyone's, everyone's head? head. <laughs> Everybody yeah, you've connected to so far. What's your limit? What's your hard limit? Isn't it like it's six? So I've been connecting each oh. of like like separately. Okay. So, so you gotta every... pick, you have to pick two people in this room to leave out. <laughs> oh no, this is to everybody. I can stay connected to everybody else. So no, this is everybody that I was already connected to. I've been using my one that can bounce between. So you're five. Well, yeah, but well, in this you room use... with you. Are eight people, not right. counting you. He's saying that every time yeah, he talks yeah. to someone new, he uses one connection and then severs it. Yeah. So he yeah. has the five of us, and then he connects to one person each time. Yeah. Oh, so I'm, I'm just trying to, because the way you worded it, I thought you were saying it to everyone in the room with you. No, right? no, no. no I'm, it's a party. party. <laughs> yeah, the yeah. party. Well, you oh, have two right. now, because I've severed the connection. <laughs> Just in Dolus in his head. She likes all kinds all of sweets. sweets. She can't talk. That's very nice, hush. And I sever my connection. <laughs> I heard another badoom sound. <laughs> the Discord disconnect. I just assume by this point, Hickory's kind of finished talking to Tassidy and uh, Runner. Mm -hmm. So I'm like halfway to Nori when once again, just a say on the stairs again, too. It's really weird. <laughs> You're just like, ah! You like go halfway down. Damn it, hush! You're just sitting there, like vibrating. <laughs> just, I, I'm just picturing a T posing hush, just like brr, 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 across the floor. like a phone going off. Yeah, like a phone going off. Is that okay. all? And so, that should be everyone. You talked up top deck. Okay, okay. What were they talking about this? Wait, I need to meet. You need to meet Eggold and Lorelai. Well, I guess you kind of already sort of met them. Let's go find Eggold. Also, find this gun that they're talking about. Gun. Yeah. I will say through the glory of perfect timing, and slightly warbling the the space that conversations take. You leave the the galley as Eggold is coming up from the cargo the cargo hold. Eggold, 
Oh, yay, it's someone who's... What? Nice. Um, oh, this hi, is, what's up? This is Hush. <laughs> this is my new friend. He talks into... This is Vegetarian Hush. He talks into people's brains. So I hope that's okay. Is his name Vegetarian Hush, or is there, like, another Hush who's vegetarian not Vegetarian is, like, his title. Like, you know how I'm Officer Lotus? Right. Duke of Egg. Got it. Mm-hmm. This is yeah. Eggold. He's the Duke of Egg. Yeah. Do you control Me. eggs? Do you, wait, you link to him and ask him that? Yeah, yeah. You link to him, and you speak into his brain... And he is, like, the first person in the last three weeks who has no visible reaction. <laughs> You're just like, you can... You control eggs, and he just blinks. He didn't... He didn't no, he didn't, I don't. I just... I have a... It, it's a long story. I'm just a duke of that. You just call me. Move. You just call me egg. He didn't even move. Most people at least, like, like move a little bit. Yeah, Eggold is a little bit weird in that sense of, like, he doesn't really react to things. I've seen a lot. I'm tired. I'm, I'm Hush. I can't control eggs. I guess we have something in common. I can pick things up, up with my mind. Are you also an officer? Uh, yeah, I'm the first mate, so I'm the officer above the other officer. So you're... Are you Lotus's boss? I guess. I don't... I don't... I'm really confused on... I've never been on a ship before. Well, I've... normally, there's a captain in charge, and then a first mate, and then a few officers, and then the crew. Mm -hmm. We have the crew... Some officers who usually aren't fucking here. Uh, Walk, who's an officer, but he's he, we kind of share first mate duties. There's me, who's the first mate. And then there's Lorelai, who's captain, but admiral. Uh, so she's the admiral, but she serves the role of captain. And then Twink, even though he's an officer on the ship, is the leader of Twink Tanya, and this ship belongs to Twink Tanya. He was there when we stole it, so actual ownership is really questionable. Um, and, uh, yeah, long story short, it's fucked. It's all fucked. I don't know. Yeah, it's fucked. General rule, to listen to me, or Walk, or Lorelai, because me and Walk, if we're telling you to do something, it means you should do it, and if Lorelai tells you to do something, it means she'll hurt you if you don't. Well, I don't think Lorelai would hurt us. She's very nice mm. to what? To yeah, me. probably not you. Yeah. Hush, like... like he was kind of small before, as he's like getting hurt. He like prompts up, he stamps his feet. He does not stamp very hard and goes, I am Hush. I can lift things with my mind. I can read people's thoughts. I can teleport things uh, and summon things knives with my brain. And I can help really well. I've been able to help them. So and you're hope, super like, cute. I hug him. <laughs> Squish. <laughs> Lotus, I'm glad you're a friend. <laughs> you just... Here's butterscotch. Oh, uh, thanks. Throws it in his mouth, and you immediately hear it all loud, like... <laughs> no! I've never seen people do that. I hate when people do that! Crunchy. No! <laughs> I like it when it's off. Well, I hope I can be of service to the ship. Yeah. Appreciate that. Good attitude so, to have. I'm also really good at sneaking. Necessary with the group you've fallen in with. Very, very good. And like, like only in, in, in Eggles, I guess. I'm so good at sneaking that even Twink asks for my help. That's pretty impressive, actually. Recognition at all from that great little leader of ours is is it's pretty pretty impressive. By the way, <clears throat> I heard there's a gun. Oh yeah, it's downstairs. Twink is looking <sighs> at it right now. 
Let's go. It, Let's go. Is it, is it as big as hers? <laughs> he just walks up the stairs. I want to see. I want to see. Let's go. I hush. Think, I, I think hush. it's. I think it's smaller than yours. <laughs> Good Queen Cure. You've familiarized yourself with the controls. You're midway. Like you're. You're more than midway through your inspection at this point. You're probably somewhere along the tube, looking it over. Maybe looking at a seam of some sort as the kids just come running down the stairs. Stop. Eh? This is not a playroom. It's the cargo hold. This is more than that now. Lotus, you see the same thing he had seen before with that glass tube running like the length of the ship. All of the, the various chains and circuit things set up. Can we, can we see under the ship now? If you look way towards the front, then yeah, there is that sort of like glass front. You can see the ocean. You can see. You can see under. Uh -huh. Wait. Walk. So walk. I'm like waving. He's, up, over. he's upstairs. <laughs> he's. Do you want me to call him? The connection severed. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Hush, oh, are you going to walk over here or not? Disconnect from that golden gate into it. Can you hear me? <laughs> Can you hear me now? Good. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, the service down here at the Carvel Gold is really bad. <laughs> hey, what, what were you saying? Can... He starts walking over Okay. Oh, I get it, because you said walk, and it sounds like walk, like spoon mail. Okay, I get it. Um, don't touch any of this, and I gesture at everything. You just gestured at everything. And you can look out that, and I point at the window. What is it? This is a very dangerous piece of equipment. More dangerous than Kyle? Um, if Kyle... Uh, had a baby, um, and then that baby exploded. That's what this does to things. What? Lotus. Yeah. Uh, make an intelligence an intelligence check for me. Oh no. Uh, twelve. Twelve. Better than. Uh, you're like what? And you're looking at this, and then. The general shape and layout as you're looking at it. Your your mind has a brief flashback to when you were flying over the island with the burning tree at Sanctuary and you saw the railgun extend all the way out. And you immediately like your brain like brain blasts and connects dots together. <laughs> Wait. It feel disturbance in or in Lotus's brain. Don't think too hard, Lotus. But wasn't this the thing in Sanctuary? Sort of, but not exact. It doesn't blow things up and make things go into the sky? No, it does. Wait, what? I just said it did. But why would you want to do that? case we need to blow something up are you not aware that i'm the reason that existed in the first place i mean i guess that would make sense because you I, and I, I invented that idea that that thought process yeah so and you just put it on the ship and made it way yeah. smaller does it make and it makes things float? Does it break? Oh, it doesn't make things float, no. Okay, that was the part that I was really concerned about because you were like, yeah, it does that. I'm like, huh? No, you said sends things into the air and it does that. But then it comes back down, right? Forcefully. Like, all things do, yeah. Okay. That's cool. That's so cool. That's... Yeah, so don't ever touch it. Okay. If I catch you touching it, I'm taking your hands. I like my hands, so okay. 
Like, 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 Doc's? Doc's hand? Except both of them. Okay. See, I just let his, his, his hands go into his sleeves. But we can still come down here. Yes. And look up the window. Okay. Uh-huh, of course. Okay, right. okay. There's a, there's a heron gone upstairs. He's not, he's not nice. He's not, he's, he's, he's a lot. His name was like Lyric or something. He was really That's mean. The worst kind of cookie. I liked his ears, but I think I like his ears less now because he was really mean. This is very... Can I help you too? Oh, we just wanted to see the big gun. Mm-hmm. Okay. Bye. Oh. Can we, can, 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 we, can, we, can we look at the, the can we look at the window first and we can yes, go? Yes, in silence. Okay. You don't have to ask me twice. <laughs> Lotus <laughs> and hushes is just like haha. <laughs> <laughs> go over to the window. Uh, because the water up here is so cold, like, nigh freezing all the time, it is incredibly clear down here. So, you can see, if you, like, stretch your neck just right, sort of like with an aquarium, you can kind of see the top of the water as the ship is moving. You see some, some fish here and there. There, are, There's no coral reef here. It's too cold for that. It's just mostly dark water as you go down with schools of fish every now and then. And every now and then there's like rock outcrops and stuff that you can see in the in the weird mist of underwater. But it's just a very nice view it's window. Close, is there, how, how close is the closest fish? I'd be like more than a hundred feet away. Fish. Fish. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, that's uh, all I wanted to do. In As... in Hush's head, by the way, I, I I start telling him about like sanctuary and how it like Explode. the events. Yeah. Got it. She tells you the details of a horrific war where she died and a city was destroyed. And Star Lost Twink built a giant railgun. That was the reason the city was destroyed. Fish. And then... <laughs> Fish. 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 Uh, while you're doing that, Twink, and while you're doing some little adjustments on something, uh... Uh, very quiet feet approach you to the point that you don't notice someone's approaching you until they're like 10 feet away. And you glance up at them and it's Petrin, he's just like so, um arm? It's gonna be a while oh, Okay What does that mean? <laughs> um There's just some things I gotta do to it Wait till you have it? For the most part. For the most? But what does that mean? Twee, he like wiggles a stump and then he's just like, ah! <laughs> it's still like wrapped in bandages and stuff. And he's just like, ah. Right. That is easy to trust werewolf. me. Werewolf. He's a werewolf? No, 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 a werewolf. No, no, no. I got on the ship and everything because I thought you'd have an arm for me and I could be helpful. But now I'm just Stumpy McGee stuck on the ship. Is his name Stumpy? I really didn't no, think you were going to be coming here. I thought you would have my arm. The plan was for you to go to Yuba and then have my arm. He's really when happy. I got back. I Look, you should be happy. I cut away a whole chunk of the process for you. You should be happy I'm giving you a fucking arm. Are we gonna start going back and forth over like who should be who should be grateful about things? Sure, if that's the route you want to go down. Okay. Oh, I don't know. You know, 
helped back you up in the conference, helped fight Star Laws with you one, two, three times. Uh, you know, fired a bunch of ballista that actually, you know, killed that one Star Lost. That w okay, before you correct me, sort of killed that one Star Lost that otherwise she probably would have murdered all of you. Do you think we should go? Uh, the one time he got taken over by a dude and killed our friend. Um, lost an arm. Very ungrateful about getting it back. Uh, that one time I got taken over by a dude who had a vendetta against my country because he was trying to kill you and my best friend who died helping you, by the way. I can keep Not holding that one against you. That was his decision. I can just keep the arm. I mean, if that's really what it comes down to. I'm just saying, I don't know why you're acting like I'm crazy for being like, I thought you'd have the arm. And then confused when you say just, oh, I'll need a, like, a, like oh, I have it, but I, I need to do something. So, I, like, I made it, Hickory and Doc's hand, well, I say I, we, you know, friend of mine, made Hickory and Doc's hand first. And, like, I just didn't get to finish the arm before we had to kind of leave and do other things. That's the sentence you use, Twink. Not I have it, but, oh, I need some things for it. Is that not the same thing? No, it's fucking not. <laughs> One explains why you need things for it. It gives important context. Do I feel like they're the same? Like one is like, yeah, I have you're it, so but it's not the yet. And the other was, <laughs> I have it, but it's not finished yet. No, one of them is, I have it, but I'm doing things to it doesn't explain what you're doing or why you need it. And then the other is, I have it. It's not finished. So I'm doing things to it. It's a critical piece in there. I guess like a thing. Yeah, it does I guess like the thing going on. This is important communication skills I'm giving you. And I'm giving you an important gripping skills. So... I'm just saying, not everyone is just going to be fine with your one-to-one -one logic. Also, you're trying to run a country. So, I promise, it'll be important at some point in the future to not be entirely so direct without providing important context. Well, Wouldn't I you can't hate it if somebody has... everyone understands the things that I say because I'm so smart. Wouldn't you be upset if somebody who thought they were smarter than you gave you, like, a whole plan but left out context and it somehow resulted in something That's negative? Sweet. So what I got from that was, you think you're smarter than me? No, I'm giving you an example because you're smarter than me, asshole. I'm using you. Yeah, but your terms our were thought they were smarter than you. Not you do think you're smarter than, than me. You, you do think you're smarter than me. That's a difference. That's fine. I'm not incorrect. See, that's what you do. I'm not. I was totally correct when I said think you're smarter than me. Are you going to say I'm wrong? You do think you're smarter than me. Petronas, good to see you. How you doing, buddy? I'm missing a fucking arm. <laughs> yeah. I'm glad you're not dead. The last time I left you all alone, you got captured by the Empire. And the time before that, one of you died. Oh, that was me. No, that was, I was talking about socks. But yeah, it's just died. <laughs> oh, I don't think yeah, that happened. Yeah. Oh, there's a bigger fish. Yeah, there's a big fish. Anyways, so like, give me like, I look around at all the materials and stuff. I mean, give me like, give me like three days. Take however long you need. I just want to know the status of the arm. Yeah, in progress. Hi, Petra. Hi, Lotus. Hi, new person. It's my new friend, vegetarian. Hush. She talks into people's heads. So. Are yeah. you? Are you? Telling everyone he is vegetarian. Hush. I am trying she's, to. Like, she's she's officer Lotus. Lotus. It's not a They're title. Incredible. It's not? No. What? No, but the other two up top were a vegetarian as well. They are um, vegetarians, but it's not a title you put before a name. We've told everybody name. this. Yeah, it's not like you're... You don't, I don't introduce myself as Wood Elf Petrin, but I'm a Wood Elf. The Petrin. I'm just Hush. And also vegetarian. Fuck you, jeez, oh, goodness. I told you. Stumpy? I know, I just wasn't. You said stumpy. Oh, no, no, it was a, no, it was a, no, no, my name's Petrin. No, it's, no, it was a, it was, 
Are you stumpy McGee Petrin or just call me Patron. I'm just Patron. Okay. Ooh, he's Petrin. really cool. You said Someone recognizes. <laughs> How's the wife and kid, Petron? Uh, alive, thankfully. They're Were good. they staying with you? Like, why'd you come all the way out here and not stay with them? Gestures again to the stump, and then he's like, also, I mean, you know. I've fought the Star Lost three separate times, still alive. Figure I might as well be around for like four, five. Oh, six, are you six, staying six, with six, us? Right? I mean, at least until I get my arm back. Or well, not back. New arm. You're getting, you're making me a new arm. Wait. So you're leaving when you get your new arm? Maybe. I don't know. I'll decide then. I wanted to make sure you were all okay, and this way I could get the arm sooner and make sure you're all okay. What is, what's your favorite kind of candy? My favorite kind of candy? That's a loaded question. Uh, I don't know, I guess. Lollipops? We don't have a lot of candy in the West. Do I have a lollipop? Oh, you hell yeah! <laughs> Not a single one of the people here mouth. like butterscotch. Or no, <laughs> he starts to try and undo the wrapper with one hand, and he's just like, "Hey, I got you. I, I, I can help you. I can help you. you." What happened? You Lotus said a werewolf took it. Oh yeah, no, a werewolf was trying to eat my men, so I shoved a silver knife down his throat, and he bit my arm off. See, he's really cool. It would have been way cooler if I hadn't gotten my arm bit off. Also, the the werewolf is now the frog that uh, Alina wears around her belt. What? <laughs> oh yeah, that's Gillian. There was I, no one told me the frog was a werewolf. That's also the frog's not a werewolf too. anymore. Yeah, he's frog's a frog. Frog's a frog. He was also me for a while. What? Yeah, that was when I died. Yeah, I killed her. Mm -hmm. Except I didn't. You're good, right? We're like, are you okay? Um, it's, it's... Fish! Yeah. That was a long, poignant pause. I'm scared of lightning now. Right. He electrocute. Right. You're afraid of lightning? Apparently. Pick wasn't aware That's how of I process my trauma apparently. too. It's just like you're afraid of this now, <laughs> apparently. Apparently. <laughs> apparently. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm gonna go help walk cut vegetables because is he an officer? How do you do that? Hold it down with my pinky and I chop with the knife. Your pinky's gonna get so strong. Do or you you're gonna lose your pinky. Can you use magic? Keep catching up to the rest of me at this point. Can, are you a magic user? Not really. A little bit. Everybody in the, the West would know a little bit. You should learn. You should learn and hush like it like it like it like fizzles in front of him. And this one's not invisible. It's just a hand. It's like, you, sh you should learn this one. And just like I should. I probably should. I can if you're not staying. I only know the the he does like the little presto sparkles and then he's like and how to read minds. <sighs> I know it's a real zero to one hundred there, isn't it? I can do I can do the presto thing and read minds. That's cool. You're pretty like cool. You're but he's like takes a breath and he's like you're a pretty cool kid. You and Lotus, both. You're cool kids. Twink, I'm gonna go. We're gonna go anywhere else. Bye bye. Bye, fish. Bye. Fish. And he just goes back up the stairs. Twink, we saw super big fish. There was so. There was a. It had like a thing. Quiet. Oh, there was a super big fish. Really big. It had like a big fin. I'm busy. Back up there. Was whispering because he's telepathic, so it doesn't make noise anyway. <laughs> 
<laughs> Meanwhile, back upstairs, a little while back, because uh, we haven't seen what's going on with him in a while. Dolores, how are you? H how are you holding on? <laughs> Brain damage, 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 damage. Because Lorelai's definitely, like, especially with your help, finished both those bottles. Well, there's four. I know, but the, like, oh. the, the original and then the second <laughs> one she opened are both definitely gone. Okay. Uh, should I roll a constitution check or something? See how I'm doing? Yeah, roll a con, roll a con save. A con save, all right. Has Dolus ever drank before? Yes. Okay, uh, back in the elemental plane of air. Wow. With much uh, less harsh alcohol. <laughs> that, uh, that'll, be a, that'll be a nine. Oh, yes, you're zooted, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're you're slouched. You're you're not you're 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 having a great time. Don't get me wrong. You feel very warm and fuzzy. Mm -hmm. You have like no filter left anymore. Yeah. Okay. You're, you're great. only a little. You're only a little sloshy on the words. You're high enough that you're not like <laughs> like you can still talk, but you're definitely yeah. rambly. Okay. Great. Uh. <laughs> and so <laughs> Dolus just. Face super red. Just like, <clears throat> yeah, man. So that's the, then. Oh, then we Mara, me and him, we we buried. We didn't bury her. We we sort of sent her off. <laughs> we we gave her a little speech, and she was and. Then Hickory did better job, and then we made it here. Hickory. Holy shit. Yeah. You are drunk. Uh, I haven't drank in, like, two years. Also, this is Yubawa stuff. It's strong. <laughs> I don't think they make a stronger alcohol, unless they're dwarves. Go look at the bottle. Uh -huh. I, I last time I drank, it was I stole a bottle from my parents. Took it out back, and just because they wouldn't, they wouldn't let me. But I wasn't having that. Right. Had to stick it to the man. You're a real rebel, Dolus. She's fine. She is... Yeah. Yeah, she is not affected at all. Her cheeks aren't even red. <laughs> yeah, you know what? I am a real rebel. Yeah? That's why I got kicked out. I thought that was because of your face. No, well, no, if, if either way, it was because I, I, I almost killed a kid with magic. That happens, that's fine. Well, uh, no, it was just, he was gonna cut up my sister, so I punched him and then he flew away. But not like how he would fly away with a bird, I punched him and it was magic, it was Kylie. And then it, my hand, everyone saw it, everyone didn't like it. You doing okay, buddy? Uh-oh. <laughs> You're just, um... I'm sorry, this is just really funny for me to, like... Glad you gotta, you gotta understand, I would have to drink, like, that whole case to have a buzz, so... Go for it! No, <laughs> I'm I'm plenty Who's happy. Who's stopping you? Right Stick it to the man, Lorelai. I'm a pirate. My whole thing is sticking it to the man. Exactly. I have raided thousands of ships in my lifetime. I, you know, I didn't think the pirate life would be for me, but it seems like I was a pirate all along. Yeah, we haven't raided a single ship since you've been here. You're not a pirate. <laughs> Does so? Do we ha should we raid it? Well, have we not raided a ship? We stole this ship. Dolus, didn't you like throw up when you saw a dead body? 
No, I threw up when Socrates died in front of me. I was different. Fair enough. You think you could just kill people so you could take their ship and their stuff? Mm, I prefer not to. Well, not a pirate. Oh. Well, it's I mean, okay. that's probably a good thing. I don't. No offense to you, but I hear pirates don't really get the best rap. I think my rap's pretty fucking good. Excuse you. Well, no, because you, well, you just said, like, pirates are known for killing people and stealing their things. Yeah, it's awesome. Okay, well, I guess to a pirate, that would seem pretty awesome, yeah. Dolus, I'm a red dragon. My whole thing is killing people and stealing things. Really? It's like in my genetic. I didn't even know that that was part of the deal with being a red dragon. Wow. Yeah. You're a, you're so big and like it was and let me let me tell you like <laughs> you know it's it was honestly astounding to watch from the ship. It was, I mean, don't get me wrong, it was absolutely horrifying. However, it was pretty cool. Yeah, I, you know, few people have told me since then. I haven't, yeah. haven't gone full dragon uh, since, well, since I broke you guys out of the camp. And then before that, about... You were a dragon back then? Years. Yeah, that's why the camp was on fire and exploded. Oh. Wow. And so did you just kill everyone there? I mean, not everybody, but whoever got lit on fire, probably. So do people, so are there people now out there who know that there's a dragon around? That aren't us. Uh, they probably think it was magic, since you all oh. broke out at the same time. Right. That makes sense. And so, so is that that whole killing people and stealing things thing? Is that a, all dragons thing, or just red dragons? It's mostly red dragons, but it's a bit of all dragons. Okay. What are, like, the nicest dragons... I mean, I guess that's a matter of perspective. I think I'm pretty fucking nice. I uh, think you're but... nice, too. You were so nice to take us back up on your ship all that time ago with when we blew, when Harmon's ship got eaten by snakes and then we fell from the sky a month later. Thank you so much, Lorelai. Yeah, I was going to get paid back then. From who? Harmon. <laughs> Does a Harmon have money? Has he ever had money? I think he sold all of his profits for pickles. How do you think he keeps... How, how do you think he keeps getting ships? The pickles? He used or maybe to be his charming personality. He used to be an adventurer. He's got some... Decent money stored away. Where is Harmon? I don't want to know. Okay. That's fair. That's fair. He almost shot me. He has shot me before. Oh. And how was that? I, I smashed him through a wall. Oh. Is that why he can't walk anymore? That might have contributed... You know, no, the damages. I think that one was your sister. I think that was, I think she handled that pretty exclusively. Mm -hmm. It's not She's my sister. That pretty thing. Pretty capable. That, that thing, whatever it is, it's not my sister. It looks like your sister and talks like your sister and, and it kills people like your sister. So, you know. That thing is, I mean, I know we, we talked about, you know, labels earlier. That is a monster. Okay. 
Oh, man, I made a big, big enemy out of her. Yeah, I mean, she's got Starlost juice, and I once saw your not Starlost sister axe kick a knife all the way through a man. So yeah, and then I t I took it, I went. I opened the door one time, met a plane, whole thing, saw her, told her I was the one who killed her brother, which is true, uh, and, you know, just, like, looked her in the eyes, gave her the old stare down. It seemed like a good move at the time. In retrospect, however, not so much. Oh, yeah, no, she's gonna murder the shit out of you. Ha. Huh. She can certainly try. I think your current sister could murder the shit out of you. Uh, well, maybe, but I feel Wouldn't like I... Do, and I have watched her do things to men that I, a thousands and thousands of year old dragon, find slightly abhorrent. Right, right. I eat people, Dolus. Uh -huh. I mean, not anymore. But I've eaten people, Dolus. How do people taste? Surprisingly good sometimes. So let's not get into that. Really? <laughs> oh, no, but that's so interesting. I don't want to talk about it. Because okay. then I'll think about flavors. And if I think about flavors, it won't be good. Or do pe different like races of people taste different? Well, yeah, different species taste different. It's like how chicken and beef don't taste the same. And Eric is the same as a human. Oh, okay. No, no, no. We can't talk about this, though. Not good to talk about. Yeah, no, right. I mean, but if she, you know, at the end of the day, if she's going to come and murder someone, it might as well be me. It's a real fucked up martyr complex to have, my guy. I mean... It's fair, it's true. At least in my mind. That's why I did it, you know, if she ever comes after us for the death of her brother. It didn't she has then she would have one target instead of Unless six. you killed her brother so she decides to kill your sister. No. Which is the exact opposite of what you. No, sh that's. No. Are you are you gonna honestly look me in the face and say Lotus wouldn't do some fucked up shit like? Well, especially I... if she didn't have you around to say not to do fucked up shit like. Because you gotta could... remember, Star Lost Lotus doesn't have Star Lost Dolus now. You know, means... I could ask her, if someone were to kill me. Would she go after them or the or their sibling? Not only if they killed you, but if they killed you and then specifically to her face said, Ha, I killed your brother. Well, I didn't say ha. I oh. just said, you know, I just want you to know it was me. And then I just dramatically closed the door. I'm just saying, I feel like you, oh. I feel like you lit a fire. Right. That will not stop just burning you back just want to again put that in, your brain. in retrospect it seemed like a smart thing to do at the time do you know it was very we had just gotten off of the fight that killed socrates we didn't know he was dead yet and then he was and then i was just sort of like well we had this we we're in this meta plane and we could open doors and talk to anyone and i was just you know it was a life or death situation i was thinking you know, hey, you, if you're going to kill anyone, kill me. Dolus, I've lived a life. I've lived eight year long years. If you, that's, uh, if you <laughs> ever fight another Star Loss, I'll have your back. Oh. Unless it's Loki. Oh. Because I can't hurt Oh, you, you know, that's that's understandable. I, I, well, so, uh, I personally, 
And, you know, maybe I'm just, I'm having a bit of a moment of clarity right now. You know, I, you, I feel my mind feels muddy, but also the cleanest it's been in a long time. Maybe I'm just cho choosing to refuse the fact that those star lost are people so that I can justify killing them to myself. Because at the end of the day, I know that I'll have to eventually kill what might be another version of my sister. And that's kind of fucked up. Yeah, it's so fucked up. I hate to relate our situations, because yours is a little more complicated than mine, but, like, I... My sister kills and eats people and is a monster. You even said it. I, I'm so sorry for that, by the way. Yeah, let's, Again. No, let's not let's not dig back into this. Right. Let's not. Okay. I know you're drunk, but don't. Let's not. All right, all right. I'm just putting it out there that in the moment it might be more difficult for you than you think. Because I thought for centuries, if Vala and I ever fought again, I would just, you know, it would have to be to the death. Right. And then I couldn't. So. Granted, you you're probably not going to remember any of this because you are fucked up. No, no, no. Have another I one. have a great, <laughs> a great memory. Have another one. Yeah. Well, I mean, I guess not a bottle. You're not a weird cure. She pours you like a tall glass and then takes the rest of the bottle. Oh, I, I mean, I can't. Drink or get out. <laughs> I, I just, you know, with, with that whole thing, what do you, so what do you think that says about me, that I was so able and willing to kill myself? Nothing I don't already know about you. Mm. What time is it? <laughs> Meanwhile, <laughs> back out on deck. Hey. Degree, you were going to hey. go talk to Nori. I was. Okay. Uh, so, <laughs> yeah, um, walking back from talking to the other two, it's just, Nori! Hi! She kind of just bear hugs the shit out of this girl, because oh, Hickory, Hickory is now used to the very durable other people that are around her. You're big. <laughs> oh, sorry. Um, hi. Hey. I think you are the strongest woman that has ever hugged me. Thanks. Okay. Yeah, hi. It's good hi. to see you. It's so good to see you, too. You look great. Thanks. We're not at war right now. That's I usually look that's, pretty good. That's a good point. That's a... <laughs> it's a surprising strain on your daily routine. Um, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, <laughs> Hickory just kind of looks at her hand. And she's like, I can't even blame this on the war. I just have to blame it on my idiot brother. Blame what? On the war. I lost their fingers. Oh, no. I got them Ooh. back, though. Well, not them, but I got... She kind of, like, flashes the metal on her hand. Oh, no, I thought you regrew them. Oh, no, that's... Oh No, Ooh. no, can't do that. Not oh, yet, at least. Oh, you really lost those. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, Griffin ate them. Ooh. Oh! Oh, there's a Griffin! Well, oh. a Griffin ate my brother's fingers. Uh, turns out, it goes both ways. Oh, yeah, you have the weird body-sharing thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, That's gotta be strange with your brother, who's, mm -hmm. you know... Yeah. yeah. No, he saw he saw a couple cute girls while we were in, while we were in Yubua, and um, that's just, that's not, that, I, I want our heads very separate. Ah, yeah. No, I can't imagine sharing a brain with, she like looks up at Tassidy and Runner who are still talking. Tassidy is now trying to shoot fish out of the water. And then she just, yeah, no. Um, not something I would want. Uh, so you are a stronger woman than me. Do you want to grab lunch? Is it lunch time? What time is it? Uh, I ate already. And then I swapped with the other ship. Oh. Okay, um, maybe another time. I'll swap. Yeah, well, I'll swap back again at dinner. Okay. 
Um, I'm gonna go say hi to Walkin' everybody, and then, um, go catch up on dinner. Yeah, that sounds great. Awesome. Oh my gosh, we can get you, we can get my sister, and we can get, we can get some of the new girls. We can have, like, a girls' night. Right, we can bring Alina. Yeah. <laughs> I, she didn't talk to me in Sanctuary, really, no. so I just, I don't think she likes me. No, it's not that she doesn't like you, it's just that she's got really bad anxiety. Oh, okay. Yeah. Wait, so you want to subject her to girls' night? Um, I think she needs more friends. Okay. I, I guess we'll I, see. Yeah, I, I grew up with mostly boys. So it was, uh... So I'm not the best for girl advice for her either. Oh, well, I guess I'll just be great for girl advice. Yeah. Anyway, dinner. Um... Yeah. She kind of like does the weird like finger drums and then turns toward the. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Goes down the stairs, all awkward. Here you feel a weird bubble in your your stomach of anxiety. <laughs> <laughs> Talking to people. Yeah, you go downstairs and there are those those six that the, the kids met. Mm. Finishing up their meal now. Where's Petron? Is Petron uh, okay around now? now? He's talking to Twink. Okay, great. Then anyway, I'm going to say how to walk. Yeah. Come in and just, hey, you're the girl today. Yeah. It's been yeah. a long time. Walk? Well, I guess it hasn't. It's been like. It's been a week. It's been a long week. Yeah, you want to talk about it? Yeah. Yeah, you I want do. Soup? Yeah. Yeah, I do. I miss your cooking <laughs> walk. <laughs> Here. Hey, you like. Swipes a bunch of stuff on the counter just to the side. Some of it even like clatters the floor, and he's like, "Hop up, yep. <sighs> tell me your troubles while I get out the masher." <laughs> so, I guess I kind of figured this out before um, we left the ship again. But the holdmaster for the for for the stonekeeper empire is like me and doc and he's two people and fagin which hole you're gonna have to narrow it down uh there, is it martin there are five of them Mar martin's a <laughs> martin's a clash star and so i'm not really right. sure what that means and now doc and i are trying to study on how to be one which isn't easy um, well. and I got my fingers back though. Hey, there you go. And, um, we're, I, I started bounty hunting again, which was really cool. And then we started and right. then we, and then we, um, and then we got caught up in some stuff and Lorelai put doc in a rock, but technically that means he put me in a rock. She put me in a rock. Lorelai, Lorelai did it. It was Delilah. <laughs> <laughs> then Delilah well, I don't know where I could do that, but I don't know what uh, she was she dragging. Out, yeah. <laughs> uh, Delilah, Del or Delilah, uh, yeah. Delilah put me in a rock. Um, Wait, you met Delilah? De 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 you Delilah put you in a rock? Yeah. Like Delilah Palm Archmage of Ubal with Delilah. Mm -hmm. Why'd she do that to you? Tell me Twink didn't piss off an Archmage. Another one, because we already have Martin. Matthias is dead. What? Um, so when we got there, you know, we were he supposed to be... Playing. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Anyways, this happens. <laughs> yeah. And so she yep. just kind of sits there, and she's like... And now we have to gain reputation, which is kind of where we're going next, because I need to bounty hunt some more and gain the trust of the lords of Yubua. Well, you're two for, well, you're one for two, three. So far? Yeah. Yeah. That's a um, lot, kid. You just told, you just dumped a lot on me here. Normally, I, people talk about their feelings. It's like, oh, I, I had to 
to talk to this person that I didn't want to, or oh, I'm pissed off, or oh, Lorelai's mad at me, or oh, you, uh, I have a dumb name like Eggle, but no, no, this is oh, politics. And... Well, um, I think it's a little above my pay grade. <laughs> that makes sense. Uh, I don't know. Everyone's been really nice and kind of getting along, and we got Hush, and he's a sweet kid. He's a little misguided, but a sweet kid. A little weird. A little bit, but... It's okay, you know. you're all weird. Yeah. I think this boat's just become a collection of weird people. But it's fun. Over at that table, we have two halflings, a cat person, a rabbit person, and two people. I never thought an artificer would be the most normal person at a table. Hickory just kind of didn't process because she was just kind of like going for familiar and like turns around and she's like they're cat and rabbit people right hole in the ground so anyways this happens <laughs> <laughs> uh you all throughout the day Dolis has some more drunken conversation with Lorelai Twink finishes his tune-up of his new rail cannon. Uh, one of the kids. Roll, just roll for me. Either one of you. And I'll say you have advantage. Okay. I'm glad you said I have advantage because I rolled a two, and that's a 19. All right. You guys see a lot of fish. A lot of yes. really cool fish. And at one point, you even see a shark. A big, huge... This shark is not too dissimilar in shape in our world to a reef shark, but it is much longer. It's like 15 to 20 feet long, like the size of a great white. And it is a bit thicker around. It's a big... It's a big fish! Hush. Twink. Twink, come here. No, I'm busy. Quiet. There's, there's, a, there's like a monster. <gasps> it's like a monster. I t I <laughs> Twink, are you going to go look? Okay. So yeah, so then you, you see lots of schools of fish, like the shark. You don't see the shark for too long because, you know, you're going pretty fast. Um, I think I think at one point, Lotus in the middle of staring at the fishes. <gasps> Brain damage! <laughs> we needed to go oh. fucking else! Oh, and I need to talk to the... We need to meet the... After the like 30 to 40 him. minutes of staring at fish, doing nothing else, just... Ah! You got the brain <laughs> damage. <laughs> Walk! No, Lorelai! We we walk at first and then we <laughs> zoom. You zoom. Yeah, you go up. You go right to Lorelai's cabin. What time is it? <laughs> I do. Was, I was also legitimately asking. Probably like a late afternoon at this point. <laughs> Am I allowed to talk? Sun to is low in the sky, but not sunset Let me yet. Her first. Okay. Okay. I'm not. You don't have to tell her I'm a vegetarian. Okay. <laughs> You can though if you want. Doom, doom, doom. Okay. Come in, Lotus. Oh. <laughs> I opened the door. Hi. How's your brain damage? Fine. Your brain damage. No, no. I know you like. Did you tell him you had brain damage? Well, um. He's no. just drunk. He doesn't have brain damage. Oh. I guess it's kind of brain damage, but it's like temporary. Yeah. Hemp, are you gonna be okay? Oh, he's having a great time. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's good. No, Puts, like, like a hand on your shoulder, Dole. It gives you a little shake, and you're like... Oh. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm just uh, like, oh, okay, we're not gonna do that. My whole world just... <laughs> <laughs> just no, trying like... to communicate to Dole. It's like, Dole, Dole. This is oh. vegetarian, oh. Hush. Oh, what's, what's up? Or just, just Hush. Disconnected. Oh. <laughs> is he vegetarian hush or is he just hush? Um, 
He's just hush, but he's also a vegetarian. Still is disconnected. Back to Lorelai. Uh, hi, 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 just vegetarian hush. <laughs> You're the drag. I'm a what? You're the... You said she was a dragon, right? Is that right? Why I look? I pull up the mask. Oh my! Oh oh oh! I'm oh. <laughs> Pretty, oh, they made it a little rough around the edges of the mouth, but no, it's a pretty good. She takes the mask from you. Bolus in the back of the room, just. Oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> she, like, puts it over her face. She's like, what do you think? <laughs> do I look good? And then she, like, moves the mask and she has, like, the snake eyes. <gasps> <laughs> okay, yeah, now why does he know, though? She told me about I was telling him else. about everybody on the ship okay so we just lo lo Lotus I'm gonna make oh. a rule right now okay if people don't already know we don't tell them no matter how nice they are to okay. be fair I think he should get a pass he's Delilah's like right hand little agent so, I mean, he was probably going to find out anyways. He reads people's minds. I'm... I... I can... Are you actually a dragon? Yes. My... I was... My, my friend told me a little bit about dragon. <laughs> Did he tell you good things? Um... Do you, do you have, are you gr gr greedy? Am I greedy? Yeah, he said the dragons can be greedy and they have hordes. I, I'm not, I'm not, I'm I not calling you greedy. I think that wanting what you are owed is not greedy. But they said they... I'm not, I'm not, I don't, I, I learned recently that maybe not everything he said was okay. Cause we met Bahama and he was nice, but I'm not saying that you're, you're, you're greedy, no, but he said no, you were greedy. Stop, no, stop, stop, stop. No, there oh, was a Oh, did second. I not tell you about that? No, there was a no you didn't tell me. You so met, I'm this... sorry, what? Okay, no, so there's this guy. He's really friendly. His name is Ahab, right? Thanks. And he has a little bird. His two his bird, his name is two. I got bird seeds. Ahab right. and two. His name is Ahab and two. His name is Bahamut backwards. <laughs> it's crazy, right? He, he was he. Mm. This isn't some. This wasn't just some nice salesman who who happened to say he was Bahamut. Right? Oh, no, it was. It was literally just some nice. I mean, Fairmont said he was cool. Uh, and then we talked to him, and then I was like, wow, you, no, no, well, no, he, he wasn't just some guy, he, like, told us things about ourselves that nobody else should know, and I, he, like, I tried to talk to him, and he went back, I, I sent, to, I'm, I'm a psychic, and he sent sending, and, and, and he sent back to me, because I asked if I should hate him, because my, my, my friend hated him, or did not like him, and, and then he, he talked back to me, but, like, he had, he did more words than normal, I, I'm hush. Dolus. Yeah. Selfish. I owe you an apology. Well, 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 because I, I gave you false information. Apparently, I don't need the whole case to get drunk because I'm definitely <laughs> not in the right state of mind right now. No, no, no. I promise you the Bahama thing's real. Like this, you talk are, to him right now if you want. No. 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 Are you, like, on bad terms? Do you I know him? Mean, I mean, I... I'm, no, I don't think anyone's really on good or bad terms with Bahamut, unless, you know, you're, like, explicitly evil. And I guess he considers, like, thieving and eating people evil. So oh. I guess, in a sense, sort of. Ooh. But he's, like, forgiving and nice. 
than that, so... Right, right, right. Free pass. Are you evil? I'm not evil, no. Some people just would say I'm evil. Oh, she just takes things, hush. It's it's in her biology. I take what I'm, I take what I'm to serve, <laughs> I'm done, you know? So you do have it, a horde. Yeah, she, like, gestures at all the weapons she's sitting on, and she's just like... Oh, oh again. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it was so entertaining for so long, and then it just... <laughs> I'm hush. I can read minds. I'm really good at sneaking. I can th throw fireballs. I can make things with my mind and move things with my mind. And here, I hand her a piece of butterscotch. And he's very cute. Yeah. Oh, this question. <laughs> oh, was he saying something? Get out of. Did you disconnect? I was. <laughs> nice to see you again, hush. <laughs> How are you doing, Hush? Just it, he's talking to himself now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Lorelai is just like loudly knocking the butterscotch around her teeth. <laughs> it's like that loud, like. <laughs> Please don't crunch it. Ego crunched it. The Duke of Egg. Oh, yeah, we met everybody on the ship. Wow. Uh -huh. Lachlan was scary, Walk was less scary and kind of nice. Um, so nice. Uh, how the fuck are you hearing me? Uh, <laughs> uh, never mind. I'm <laughs> 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 to myself. Like, <laughs> I can see Walk is nice. Walk it has so nothing nice. to do with you. No, for, uh, like, when you're drunk, yeah, you can just fire <laughs> off like that. <laughs> <laughs> just, Lock was Lachlan's so Lachlan. nice. <laughs> Walk was a little bit scary, but I helped him. Walk was... Uh, he was really nice. Is she counting? That bunny, that bunny was really mean. Three. Yeah, the bunny was mean. The bunny was mean. There's a person downstairs that, that, that can't talk either. I can't talk. I'm gonna say it once. Only once. Everyone listen up. Everybody here. Get out. All right. Okay. Uh, bye come bye. On, come on, let's go. <laughs> Goodbye. Uh, it was nice. Enjoy your stuff. Enjoy Close your dinner. Can, I think you <laughs> Enjoy for the me rest on... of... She points like right at you. Enjoy your morning. Uh, thank you for I hope letting I me will. on the ship. Usually you say good morning in the morning, not like in the Let's night go. before. Let's go! I drag him out. The door closes. The moment the door is like fully closed behind it, you just hear a son of a bitch! And like something, just like a big clatter of metal as seemingly something happens to the pile of weapons. <laughs> she does that a lot. That's like the third time that's happened. Lorelai in her heads. Uh, sorry! Do not do that when I am mad! And then just disconnects. <laughs> Wait, have you guys seen Walk? I yeah. miss Walk. That's cool. Are you okay? Do you see Yes. That? That no, yeah. Um, brain damage. This is why you don't just listen. Like, Dolus like, gets like right and up to your face. He's back to connected to you. <laughs> listen up, Lotus. Can play roll with me real quick? Me? Yeah. Well, <laughs> yeah, it's much, it's, it's a lot different out on the deck because mm -hmm. open air is like rushes to your brain and the horizon is moving. Yeah. And so you're, you lean in and you're like, listen here. And then you kind of like roll back and you just like bonk into the, the railing next to the helm. <laughs> oh. I'm, should I, should Ow. we, I right next to you, just like, you, you're good. He has brain damage right now. He's brain Hello. damaged. Hello. It's been so long since we've chatted, hasn't it? Walk's got something for that. You should. Okay. Let's Remember go when we held hands? Let's go. Let's there go. is a there is a telekinetic push on. on... <laughs> Just remember when we <laughs> held hands? He gets pushed away. <laughs> Hush is like it, like floats for a second. He's like pushes him. 
Joel, as they usher you down. Oh, yeah. I mean, I'm going. I'm not, like, resisting. Just Twink like, Lotus. passes you on the way up as you're, like, going down into the ship. Twink! What were you doing down there? Twink, don't push. <laughs> you sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, Twink. <laughs> Where are we going? Like, come on, you want to talk to him? I think he's brain damaged. Yeah. Why are you hush, hush? Stop pushing me! Stop! Oh, please, please stop pushing me! Are you? Do you stop pushing me? I yeah. So he goes. Oh. Hush. Please, okay. First off, where, where are, are we walking? going? Why? To walk. To walk. You said you wanted to talk to walk. Yeah. Okay. I can go see him whenever. He's not going anywhere. He hates it up there on top he of the ship. To, he wants to talk to you. A hot walk wants to talk to me? Yep. Did he, he say that? To... Yep, I'm gonna roll a deception check. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go right ahead. Is that with advantage because he's drunk? It's absolutely with advantage. Fuck yeah, because I rolled a three. Fuck yeah. yeah, 13. That's a 21. I mean, he's drunk. Yeah, no, I mean, that's, that's nice. <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> nice. Yeah. Anyways, so first off, Lotus, I just want you to take this in. You see how I am? Uh -huh. This is not good, right? Uh -huh. This is why you don't drink. Don't do it. Really don't. Drink water? Don't. No, alcohol. Should we show him the fishes? He th I think he might like them more. Oh, he might like the fishes. The fishes? No, we should bring him down there, actually. Yeah. No, I want to see. Twink's gonna get really mad if you touch anything. He's gonna take your hands. Hey, still, I can regrow them. He's uh -huh. got a really good point. <laughs> Gets extra things. <laughs> Maybe we bring him to walk first, and then we go fish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah we go. We, get, we go watch another push. <laughs> yeah, let's go walk. Walk. Stop pushing me. If you keep pushing me, I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> I'm, I, what if I? Push you with my mind. No, that's what you're doing, is it not? <laughs> you're like with, with, uh, with me, my, sorry, with my hands, not mine. <laughs> I like, push less hard with my hands. I can I walk on my down. own. <laughs> Please. Please. On the stair. Can he walk Please. on his own? It's not great, but he can. Can't Twig, you, float? you You make it to the top of the <gasps> stairs with a drunk Dolus down behind you. Yeah, as you make it to the top of the stairs, Twink, you hear. I can float! <laughs> it's like down the stairs. Eggold is just like this on the helm, like wrapped around the wheel, and he's just like that is fucking hilarious. Where are we going? I was instructed to go south along the coast. Alright, well, I pull out the map. This right here is where I want to go. Uh, hey, I don't know how to say this town name. But it's that a one. Huh? A Fintir. No. Nope. This one. Miguel. Oh, Miguel. Oh, wait, you want to go to Miguel first? That's where I want to go. All right. He you know, like looks at it. Miguel. And then we'll go back to the one place. Why do you want to go there? I got things there I need to pick up. Far be it from me to ever ask a question. All right. <laughs> Just like adjusts a few things. And he's like, you do realize that, that that's inland, right? <sighs> Yeah. Which means we would have to fly, or you'd have to take your carriage the rest of the way. Right, but if we fly, like, who's gonna notice? Everyone. Yeah. It's, it'll it's be quick. I just need to... It, hmm... Perishable goods. That's all I'm gonna say. What if we send someone to pick up your goods? Oh, that's a good idea. No, that's a bad idea. Why? Oh, it might eat them. But 
What the fuck did you buy? A uh, big cat. And a little fox thing. Where are we going to put the cat? We'll figure it out. How big are we talking? Because are, are we saying like a large? Um, okay. I would say. And then I describe its dimensions. <laughs> I really thought you were going to say, and I describe its dementia. <laughs> <laughs> K is also wrong. You're like the second time you've had the dementia joke in this campaign. It's not a joke. It's not a joke. <laughs> it's just no <laughs> joke, Cryo. How dare you? Yes. I just got dementia on the brain. Wait, hold on. <laughs> Okay. Um, yeah, no, <laughs> no. Eggle just kind of like leads him. He's like, We have new people on board. Some of them might be able to talk to animals like you and Mara. Maybe one of them could go get your giant cat. Yeah, it might be a good idea. And then they can meet us at the, the one city that you said. Yeah, or we could go to that one city, and from that one city, they could go to Magau. Magau is like if we if we park at Avens here, Magau is inland. Yeah, but what if we leave before they get back? We have... nah, no shot of that happening. I like your plan. Or we could just say to meet us in Fort Don. Hmm. Or you have a person who you literally brought to this country for the sole purpose of sending messages for you. Mm. Figure it out. All right, we go to that city first. The one, the one with the one that you said. Aventir, got it. Yeah, that cool. one. I don't have to adjust heading. I was already going there. He like puts a little peg to keep the wheel steady. <laughs> All right. Uh, in the meantime, be thinking about who you can send on the, the errand trip for that. Oh, but you're delegating that to me? Can you not handle the responsibility? I can. I may not choose to. Well, that's unfortunate. See, so here can I was thinking about taking extra ships home with us, but maybe I won't. It's a good attempt, but I've been a, a ship hand and a first mate for like 25 years. Saying you might delay me being a captain by a few more, not a good threat. It wasn't a threat. I was, was legitimately thinking about it. Also, where are you going to get more ships? Dude, after we do all this, Yubo's going to be in an Ioya one. Isn't Yubo already, you know... Providing warships to help defend Twintania, because right, so they'll already be there. Yeah, I. All right, whatever. I don't need to get into you in politics. Anyways, uh, if you can't handle it, I'll just ask Walk. Yeah, no, you know, do that. Ask Walk. Cool. I'm gonna go see Lorelai now. Okay. Oh, maybe maybe you don't want to do that. No, I want to do that. You know, okay. Get to go knock on Lorelai's door. Uh, let me, let me see. No, I just walk in. Just walk in, and there are like weapons scattered all throughout, including a few that are now like stuck in her desk, and she's just like laying sprawled out on her bed with her hat like miss has haphazardly off her head and her coat like all open she's just like the fuck hi why are you in here well we had some catching up to do it's been a while you didn't knock do i usually leave my room and knock what do you say 
leave my room and knock, or I set you on fire. Yeah, it sounded like please to me. <laughs> you know, are you going to say? No, I walked back out. I said it sounded like please to me. So <laughs> okay. I walked back out and knock. Do you walk back in, or do you walk back out, close the door, knock, or do you just walk yeah, out? No, and, and no, I close the door, knock, and then just walk right in before she says, come in. You knock, and she's like, and she's like, what do you, and you open the door, and she's like, not how it's supposed to work. Oh. What do you need? I just wanted to catch up on the past week on, you know, the things that happened to the ship. Dolus got me things. pretty caught up on things happening with you. What you happened? Met what did I do? By the way. Did I? Yeah. I'm not convinced. A vampire. Why is there a vampire, Twink? <laughs> oh, great. Um, you're going to like this one. I promise you'll like this one. Okay. The vampire is a vintner. He's a vintner. Yeah, you know what that means. But it's wine. Al hard alcohol is so much better than wine, and I'm really mad at you, right? So you're gonna have to keep. So talking. he was from Shade Step. Okay. You know where the good shit comes from. That's, yeah. The so I'm wine. sure that he could make other things. Mm-hmm. Keep going. I'm not sold yet. <laughs> nope. That's really all I had. I don't see the problem here. Anything else to report? Report? Well, that's what I'm supposed to ask you. No, no, not right now. No, not today. What are your thoughts on taking some ships back with us when we're done here? I think the only reason this many people works to man this ship properly is because it's a magic airship, and if it was an actual regular ship, I would have to be working eggled to the bone again. And I don't think he wants to do that. Well, okay. I mean, that's fine. But, like, what what would you think about it if they sailed it for us to Twink Tanya and then they left them there? I think that'd be pretty... pretty good, except for the fact that we don't really need a ship right now. Yeah, but it'd be nice to have. True. Why don't you just... Ask them to commission you one when there's a ship ready. Well, I want to do that. We can have one that's already made. Because they're less likely to give you one that's already made. Uh, we are they're already using it. No, no, that's he didn't tell you about the whole Matthias thing. No, no, you're Alina caught me up on the whole Matthias thing, and then Dolas caught me more up on the whole Matthias thing. Right, so no country now, give country back, a ship or two is not gonna hurt them. That's true. But, you ever stop to think maybe at some point he'll stop being so generous? No. Because, you know... At some point, you would be taking advantage of him. Am I? I mean, I'm getting the man's country back for him. I mean, if I feel like one you ship is that? a good payment for that. Like, that's all I'll ask for is just one payment. Then we're good. We're square. It's called being square. Okay, well, yeah. In that case, I don't think a ship is too much out of the realm of possibility, but... You boy ships are big and clunky. Just get one commissioned. <clears throat> All right. Sailing one is like sailing. It's like driving a carriage with a limp horse. Yeah, that sounds disgusting. It's, yeah. There's a reason it was the slowest one when we were, you know, pursuing Gillian. Oh. Yeah. Right, so the gun. Yeah, the gun. 
It's really cool. It makes my ship fall out of the sky. For now, I'm working on that. Okay. For now, also, I'm pretty sure you could shoot me with it and take a good chunk out. So. Definitely crossed my mind. Oh, did it? Yeah, your sister, not you. Okay. Well, let's uncross that from our mind. It's too late. It's already there, but I don't think about it often. You're losing points. I started at zero. Yeah, I know. And then you got a few with alcohol. Really? Because it seemed like you weren't interested. I am going to give me something or I will throw you out of the cabin. Mm, I'm pretty much done. If you don't have anything else, I'll just leave. <sighs> she like sits up, rubs her eyes. Gets up and comes over to you and she's like, No, no, you won't. And she just grabs you. <laughs> ah, shit. Did you? So, yeah, she just full on opens the door and just yeets you past the helm onto the deck. So everyone just watches you go flying out of the captain's cabin. Make a deck safe. Hey. Hmm. I have to make a deck safe. Uh, it's all 14. Okay. Yeah. No, it could be better if I need it to be better. You might want it to be a little better. Okay, we're going to make that better. Okay. That's a 18. Okay. Yeah, the door opens and ankles like, hey, what are you? Oh, God, he ducks. And you just go flying like right where he was. And you manage to like tuck and roll in such a way. And she didn't throw you with too much force that you only take two points of bludgeoning damage as you kind of like uh, 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 onto the floor. And then just, ah, that's the thanks I get for the reporting. God. Ah. And then you hear the cabin door just slam shut. I just okay. fixed that door. Angle comes back up and he's just like, ooh, rough. I, she started in a bad mood, dude. I don't know what to tell you. She's often in a bad mood. I think she's threatened you a lot. Yeah. So I'm really surprised this is the first time that's happened. Yeah, me too. You remember that one guy who we saved from the basilisks and she just <laughs> shot on sight? You do I remember? Did you know I'm the one who told him to go up there and talk to her? Oh, that's fuck. <laughs> he was being a dick. He's dead now. <laughs> he deserves to be dead. He's a dick. I'm gonna go back to navigating the ship. I gotta go work on a robotic arm. I see we're both in our fields of expertise. Excellent. <laughs> he just goes back. Dolus, you enter the room where Hickory is currently talking to Walk. And you are being pushed by the two children. And everything feels like it's 12 degrees tilted. Whoa. Walk. Walk! Hey, welcome back. Why? Hi, Dolus. How, how do feathers look pale? In Walk's mind. He's drunk. I told him you wanted to talk to him. Please give him something that will make him not oh. this. Why are you? How'd you get? How'd you? I keep the stuff down. Mm. Now you see. That's an interesting story. Hello, Hickory, as well. Hello, table of unfamiliar faces. The Officer on deck, don't stand up. He's the. You might startle him. I'm commanding officer Dolus. Nice to meet you all. Dolus, come come here. Did you try and go drink for drink with Lorelai? Uh, no. Well, I drank with Lorelai. I brought her wine. Mm -hmm. We had a nice chat. And, and every time she offered you a drink, you you took you took a drink. Well, the first drink was of my own accord. Then yes, I took every drink that she offered me. <laughs> she doesn't understand how mortal constitutions work. I used to just think it was because she was like crazy. No, I think I think she understood. She thought it was funny, actually. Oh, okay. So she's just a dick. All right. Yeah. 
Come on. <laughs> he like opens the thing and he gets a bottle out and he's like, I missed you, oh. walk. Oh I no, that just look good. <laughs> he starts mixing <laughs> some stuff together. You I missed your cooking. Oh, I can't wait to have double portions of whatever you've cooked up tonight. You definitely shouldn't have a double of anything right now. <laughs> oh. no, How no, are you doing, Hickory? Happen. What brings you here to the galley? Hickory's just kind of sitting on the counter. He offered the counter to her, right? To sit on? Yeah. Yeah, so like she's shaking, just kind of sitting like on the counter and kicking her legs. Style. And she's like, I'm good. Um, That's good. Lotus, do you want to join girls' night? Oh, <gasps> yeah. Oh, wait. Wait, wait, what's that? Hickory. Hickory. What's that? Uh, hold on, everyone. It's Hickory, yeah. there's a thing you're not supposed to touch. Twink will take your hand back if you touch it. It's downstairs, I think. Okay. Okay, yeah. continue. Everyone as when at ease. You said that because I'm an officer, right? <laughs> Walk, when do I get to be an officer? Do I get to be one too? You know, at the, current rate are, at the rate our current officers are going, probably soon. Okay. <laughs> All right. I'll, I mean, I, you you probably live longer than I will. You can take my spot. Well, that's dark. I don't want to die. Just, you like no, I just mean like lifespan wise, just statistically. No, you're not allowed to die. Okay. I mean, you were not allowed to die either. And look at you. I, okay, you died. Go. No, wait, no, come back, Lotus. Drink. Where are you going? No, let's, no, he just like holds uh, the thing in front of you. Drink this. What? What does it look like? <laughs> it is a semi-clear grayish green liquid that right. kind of it's consistency is definitely a bit thicker than water. Oh. But only so much so that it is not natural, and not so much so that you could call it anything other than like a watery fluid. <laughs> what does it smell like? Uh, not pleasant, but you know, you smelled worse. <laughs> just, no. just pinch your nose and drink it all. One go. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do with this. Now, L Lotus, come come back. <laughs> like, just holding the cup and just follow her. <laughs> he's, like, he's, like, making sure you're not dropping it as you're negotiating around. Lotus, where are you going? Huh? Where are Thank you going? You where Lotus. are you going? Fish. Yeah. Fish, I want to come with. Swing it you back. Swig the whole thing back. Make a con save for me. Epic. Oh, that's actually pretty good. That's an 18 plus 3. 21. You feel this weird, like, rush through your body. Everything kind of, like, sways a bit. And you glance at Walk, who has a bucket. And he's like, oh, good. You managed to hold from now. Uh, he puts the bucket down. And he gives you a piece of bread. And he goes, go to the top deck and throw up over the side instead. Oh, why? Well, am I going to throw up? Oh, yeah. That was to make you throw up. You're going to throw up. Wait, why? Uh, no. Because it will get that out of your system. Did oh you, uh, no! You Hickory just kind of reaches crazy. over and palms Dolus and casts guidance on him for Khan. <laughs> you feel kind of queasy, and it start. It feels like it's starting to like bubble up, and he's like, "No, you got. You have about forty-five seconds." Uh, 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 can you <laughs> see, can, can you see the? Um, you float. You start to like. Uh, I start wow. floating. No, no, I'll start floating, and I'll get like <laughs> next to the stairs. Hush! Push me. Um, uh, I, I just hush like, can I see the top of the deck? If I go start going up the stairs, is there a point where I can see the top of the deck? Yeah. Hush like, walk, runs over. You see him rolling really fast. He goes, he points at Dolus and he points in another direction. Dolus, I teleport you onto the deck. Oh, oh, oh no. <laughs> You're gonna need that guidance. Yeah. <laughs> hush, <laughs> push me. <laughs> <laughs> So what uh, what happens as I'm as I'm teleported make, up? Make there, another right? con save. Oh, make another con save. Cool with guidance. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, uh, the D4. So the D4. You, you choose the, to fight it. I'm, I'm good. I wouldn't. <laughs> uh, it's up <laughs> another... So then plus three as well. That's a 17 total. You managed to hold on. <laughs> oh. Haggle's like, oh no, he's going to spew. <laughs> he's gonna spew. I'll like lean over the i'll lean over the edge but like way farther than you should normally be able to because i'm just floating so it's like past my like, waist wall, like like someone in zero g holding on to like <laughs> yeah. the side of a ship yeah and, and sure um, enough after just a few more seconds you just like over the, the ocean. walk to hickory down in the alley she's like you should tell him to, to eat that bread after he's Done. Hush, tell him to eat the bread. Wait, no, she the hush isn't here either. Hush is hush is hush. over like walking. Lord is tell him to eat the bread once he's empty. Okay, eat the bread. Eat the I'm bread. at the like, I'm on the top up. of the deck. Okay. I hear it. I tell him. You're gonna be eat here bread. for like a minute. You're gonna be here for like a minute. Eat the bread after you're done. Look, is it just normal bread? Bread? It's, I'm, I'm, empty. I'm like on the stairs still, just poking my head up so I can see. Hush is on the stairs as well, just like uh, it's kind of like walk. Give you his special brew. Yeah. The yeah. moment you talk, you just <laughs> yeah. Thumbs up to him. <laughs> yeah, and then sure enough, after like almost a minute on the dot, you're like <clears throat> your stomach just immediately feels. Empty and better. Your throat hurts, though. So. And and so, how on a scale of one to ten, how drunk do I still feel? Yeah, so you feel about the same, except now you feel oh. a, like a weird because you just were throwing up for about a minute. Cool. So I feel worse. <laughs> a little bit. Okay. Dallas, eat the bread. Eat eat the bread. <laughs> eat the bread. I eat the bread slowly as I walk and cobble over to them. Mm -hmm. Hush, like, hold, holds you, up a little bit of magic. You as done, you eat you the done? bread, by the time you get to them, just like that, like, six to ten feet further, you immediately, that, like, tilt in your perception is just warm, like, back. Yeah, no, I'm fine. Let's go see some fish. Are you done? Okay. Are you done? I'm, it's it's all out now. I'm going back in. No, don't 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 let it go back <laughs> Sorry, in. I'm eating the bread. No, no, <laughs> no. You don't like not like not wine and going in. Mm, this you bread. Like, Twink, you're on the deck, like right near all this, because they came up while you were going down. <laughs> so you definitely yeah. witnessed all that. Wait, you just watched all of this happen. Whether you stayed up for the word. whole minute of vomit or not is I'll leave up to you. Yeah, okay. No, I definitely went to go work on that robotic arm. All right, cool. Well, <laughs> just a moment. Dolus was, there was nothing there. And then there was a teleported Dolus vomiting. Does, does that mean that while he was vomiting, I got thrown out of the cabin? <laughs> no, yeah. it means right before he was vomiting, you uh, got yeah, thrown yeah. out of the cabin. Right. You got thrown out of the cabin, you picked yourself up, you're like, I'm gonna go down the stairs, and then you turned, and then Dolus got teleported in front of you, floated over the railing, and just went blur. What are you doing, Hush? Do you think I like I like hold your hand and I was like, Do you think it's a good idea to bring him down there? Tell Otis. To to in 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 Dolus's mind. We're gonna bring you to the fish, but you can't touch anything. And I touch the fish. No, you can't touch the fish. You Why? cannot touch anything. Even Where the are the fish? Underwater. They're far away. Oh. Yeah. God, what? God promise. <laughs> if, you if you touch anything, Twink's going to take your hands. I told you, I can make more. I... <laughs> Don't touch anything, because then he's going to take our hands, and I can't grow hands back. <laughs> so, awesome. Where is Alina, by the way? Because yeah, we've gone Alina. all around the we've ship. Over... You don't know. Maybe she's in the sleeping quarters. You can go there. 
Yeah. Alina, come get your boy. <laughs> Get no. your mans. You, you get say your that? mans. No, absolutely <laughs> not. <laughs> absolutely not. Yeah. So yeah, you guys take Dolus downstairs. Hickory, you see them come down the stairs and like go into the cargo hold and walk just to use just like he's gonna feel like shit for like 30 minutes and then way better. What about you? You you doing all right? Yeah. The whole two people thing, that's still that's still okay. Yeah, I mean, it's getting weirder now, I guess, because Doc and I's thoughts are starting to become just our thoughts. But, you um, ever wonder if maybe if you don't change back decades from now, you'll just be a person? A weird conglomerate person? Not weird, I didn't mean it like that. Panic just starts to like set in all over Hickory's face. She's like, Ooh, I said the wrong thing. <laughs> Ooh, I said the wrong thing. Uh, Fuck, do you have a drink? It'll be that, fine. It'll be fine. That won't turn me out like Dolus? Well, uh, I mean, I have I have alcohol that'll turn you out like Dolus was before. Mm -mm. No, I just... I, yeah, I, I, no. I, 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 <laughs> I just want to hang out with the other girls. Can can you make like snacks or something after dinner tonight? Sure, I'll do. I'll okay, make. Cool. I've got cheese. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna, I, I'm gonna. I'm gonna go up. To, I'm gonna go up top and breathe. You, do, you go do that. I'll get you. I'll make you cheese and bug Thanks. bread. It'll be great. <laughs> awesome, walk. Uh, yeah, I great. really appreciate you. <laughs> oh fuck! <laughs> Someone at the table is just like, "Wow, you really fucked her up." And he's like, "Shut up and eat." <laughs> It was definitely the bunny. Uh, yes, Lotus. Before we go all the way down to the cargo hold, I'm gonna look at Hush and he's like, you should probably claim your bed before we go back down. I mean, I, I think other people are probably taking bed. There's like, there's like a sleeping area, and then that's where we sleep at night. It's over there. Claim, claim my bed? Yeah. I don't know, is there any beds? I don't know. Let's go see. That sounds fun. Do we want to go get, forget? We can get Hush a bed first. Yeah. Then look at those fish. Are you? Peace. Are you? Are you leaving? To, you, the, Hickory said something about girls' night. Are you leaving tonight? I don't know what a girls' night is. I just said yeah because it sounded fun. Do you want me to ask? No, it's okay. I'll ask you later. But am I allowed? To, I'm not allowed to go, am I? I don't know. I don't know what a girl's night is. Hush, if you're not allowed at the girl's night, me and you, we can have a boy's night, alright? Can you ask if I'm allowed at the girl's night? <laughs> <laughs> right in fucking front of you. <laughs> uh, you open the door to the, the sleeping quarters, and the only person presently in there is Patron. Hi, Patron. Hi, stop, Patron. Hey. Good job. Good catch. Um, is Hello, they... Patron. It's oh been my so god, long. you dick. <sighs> That's just the first thing anyone says, you know. Maybe a hello, Dolus. Hello, Dolus. Your tank. Hello. Yes. Okay. He just like spins the knife around in his free hand, his only hand. <laughs> Is it I, a I, bed? I, Which bed isn't taking it? I'm gonna look for a comfy one for Hush. They're all the same. No, because uh, one of them's gonna be mine. There are only like You're miscellaneous so beds available at this <laughs> point. Of facts. Like, I mean, don't get me wrong. This ship was definitely built for more people than you have. So there are a fair number of miscellaneous beds, but it's you're not gonna get any that are like right next to yours or on top of yours. Uh... He, 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 he picks the comfiest looking one. They are identical. <laughs> In his mind, the one that looks the most comfy is if it's Our less wrinkly. With me, yeah. yeah. No. <laughs> What'd you roll? One. <laughs> one. You're on fire. Um, <laughs> one! <laughs> So I, dude, uh, I don't. It's just rolling, Dre. 
the bed. They call me the you singularity. Pick, you're like, this bed, this bed looks comfortable. You flop up into it and you're like, ah, oh, yeah. And then you feel like a, a, a down inside of it, like shifts, and you're just like, I have. <laughs> he's, he's he's like, in, in both of you, he's like, I have made a mistake in judgment. <laughs> That's okay. You might pick another one. Yeah, sometimes, no, maybe sometimes you just gotta go with the bad bed. <laughs> <laughs> I'll stick with this one. Cause I like sh- you're round in it. <laughs> it's I'll like they this. added just a small bit too little down. So there's always going to be one area that like shifts. I'll deal with it. If you ever don't want to sleep in your bed, we can sleep together. I sometimes sleep with just... dolls, so. We can't, but not tonight because there's a girl's night. Hickory is girls night tonight. Am I there? In your no, head. he to oh. oh, you in your head. <laughs> Hickory up on the top deck, top, top deck just Hickory is girls night tonight. Yeah. For... Am I allowed to go? It's for girls. Doll is for having a boys night. Oh, you know there's so much me and you can talk about. Can you ask Hickory what a girls' night is? What's hey, a girls' night? Boys night? Like Petron just in his his. Come join us, Petron. Me, you, Hush. That's about it, really. Uh, get walk. The twins. Oh yes, I wanted the to vegetarians. Walk. Who? Well, one what of them. A girl. One of them. <laughs> One one's a vegetarian. No, the redhead it? twins, the, the the boys. We can get them. Um, I don't think Twink wants to come. No, Twink definitely no, doesn't want to come. Not I, not I, the I bunny. Do. Not the bunny. The bunny. Not the bunny. The bunny. There's a bunny. There's a bunny. He's downstairs. You walk right by him. I Never did. <laughs> There's a bu- I saw a bunny and I didn't shoot it. Yes, you saw a bunny. You didn't shoot it. Wow, I'm re- This is why you don't drink. My senses have gotten so blurred. This I never drinking again. Hi. While we've been walking around, have you seen Alina? No. Man, Do you want me to? Her. Want me to ask her? Yes. We know we haven't seen her. Given you know. I'm still connected to her. Alina, I haven't... Where are you? Maybe ask if she wants to see fishies. Alina, where are you? Want to see fish? No, I'm okay, Hush. Where are you? Getting some fresh air. Are you up on the top? Yes. Did you see Dolus vomit? No. I mean, did did you see Dolus vomit? Okay, he didn't. I, you're not a great liar, Hush. <laughs> I, I can't. Um, do you want to see the fish? Maybe later. Is everything okay? I'm fine. I'm just getting some fresh air. Don't worry. It. I'm gonna do an inside check as to if I should worry. <laughs> Uh, would yeah, that go with... would that be a disadvantage since he can't read her body language? Yeah, I, mm, I am in her mind though. Advantage, I'll definitely say the, it'll change the DC on it though. Uh, well, I rolled an eighteen, but I have a plus one, so nineteen. I mean, I'm in her. Mind. Not talking like peppy or excited by any means. She, what you, did she, she say? Particularly sad. Maybe tell her that we saw a big shark. No, no, no! Don't tell her that. She might get, be scared of sharks. Are you afraid of sharks? No, not particularly. We saw a shark. That's really cool. Actually, I'll. I'm super excited to see some fish later. What did she say, Hush? She's she's 
Hold up, you're still talking to her. Stop talking to her and talk to me. <laughs> I don't listen. Wait a second. Alina. Are you sure you're all good? I you've been through a lot lately and I I can kind of understand not being used to this. If you need to talk, I'm always in your head. That sounds weird. Yeah, yeah, that does sound weird. Don't do you work on your phrasing. I'm fine. I'm really fine. I just needed a minute. Dolis is drunk. And, ah. and we're trying to get him. Okay. Walk gave him a thing that would make him throw up. He threw up. He did throw up. But he's ah. we're gonna take him to the we're gonna take him to the fish to get to keep his mind off of it. We thought he had brain damage. He doesn't have brain damage. He was just drunk. Um, and are you going to girls' night? There's girls' night. <laughs> There's, girls. There's a girls' night. There's a boys' night now. Um, maybe I don't know. No one's invited me. You can come to boys' night if you want. I don't think it's boys' night then. I think it's just night. Well, you're invited tonight if you want to come. Thank you, Hush. I'm going to continue enjoying my fresh air. Okay, we're down. Oh. We'll be down in the cargo. If you touch anything, Twink will take your hands. Oh, that sounds like Twink. Just if you need somebody to talk to, I'm I'm always here. Still creepy. No, that one's better. <laughs> No, I'm you after that one. Hush, what is she saying? Uh, she said that she's just relaxing, getting some fresh air. Like on the top deck? She didn't say where. What is that? Well, I mean, there's only one place to get the fresh air, it's really on the top deck. Yeah, but she said top deck, but we didn't really see her up there, so I assume she's somewhere else getting fresh Maybe air. she's like top, top deck. Maybe she's in like the, the, the bird, bird's nest. That's what that's called? Bird. It's a type of bird. I don't remember. Maybe it's the a bird. pigeon. It's a crow's <laughs> nest. Patron <laughs> just like from his place in the bed. Thank you, Patron. You know so much about birds. You have that mask. We yeah. Should go to, we should go to the fish nest. Let's. Yeah, let's go what fish. the what? The fish the nest. The fishes. Fish let's don't go. have nests, do they? Petron, do fish have nests? I'm a bird person, not a <sighs> fish Me person. You're, I'm a bird person. <laughs> <laughs> I have what? wings. Up on the top deck, hickory. <laughs> hey. Hello. So stupid. It's such a dumb session. Okay, did I just hear something? I also, love this uh, session Alina is so also much. on the top deck, yeah? Uh, she, I mean, she said she was up top. Is she? You don't see her on the top deck anywhere. Shit. Yeah, so Hickory's just like up on the top deck. She's like, okay, okay, shut up, Doc. Yeah, I know, I know. It's bad. It's bad. It won't happen. We're two separate people, and we're always going to be two separate people. She is saying this out loud, okay, by the way. Like, what if we're not? <laughs> yeah. She is, she's saying this out loud, by the way. <laughs> so she's like, yeah, I know, I know, I know. And she's just kind of like leaning on the rail. And she's like, oh. But what if we're not? Why aren't there any books on what we are? Are you? Are you good? Like Lachlan just nearby? Because if you're not. I don't think I can help with whatever this is. Walk put the thought in our mind that maybe Doc and I won't always be two separate people if we stay like this too long. Oh. But I... But I got nothing. But I want to be me, Lachlan. Oh, um... You, you, you'll, you'll be just 
fine. You're like put a patch to your back. <laughs> Which is like most of my back if I Yeah, like most of your back is like boom boom boom. You'll be you'll be just fine. <laughs> you, you guys know that super strong wizard lady? Maybe she can fix you. Maybe, but we also know like a lot of really strong people and they just look at us and go, huh? That's weird. Well, that just means you need to find somebody who looks at you and says, that's weird. I want to figure it out. I, gu I guess. You're very sweet, Lachlan. I'm trying. I'm freaking trying out. Hard. I'm freaking I'm out. To... I can tell. You're doing great. You're, you're <laughs> really great. obvious. You're and all of a sudden, just like, next to you, is just Nori, just, hey, you good? Hey, no. Hey, do you want to come? Do you want to come get some? Do you want to come get some fresh air by the railing, the side that Dolus didn't throw up off of? Is that why it smells so bad over here? Uh huh. Yeah, come on. Okay. <laughs> come on. Thank you, Lachlan. He's just like, I believe that, yeah. <laughs> Trying my best. <laughs> she just leads you over oh, the, no. the railing and, like, oh, pats you. <laughs> Hi, it's okay. It's not okay. No, it's not. It's really stressful, I'm sure. We're freaks of nature. Yeah. I don't know. I'm not gonna lie to you and say you're not. I know, <laughs> but you know, the entire time I've just been able to accept it as something is like, we'll be able to fix it and then it'll go away and then we can be two separate people, but what if we're... What if we don't get to be different people anymore? Well, at least you're stuck with someone you trust and someone you like. He's fine. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> it's just, what the fuck? Don't act like you don't say the same about me. I can hear your thoughts. I'm nice. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, Hush. At a point, Hush, like, would be like, Hickory. Hickory. Do you, wanna... <laughs> you want to come look at the fish with no. us? Why do you sound sad? Because I'm broken, Hush. Are you? The fish might help. <laughs> <laughs> we got it. Dolus is down here and he's drunk and we're taking him to the fish. Alina You're at the fish by now. <laughs> we're here at the fish and Alina doesn't sound like she's too... Are you... Do you want to come to the fish? No, I need to be up top. Why are you upset? Because I don't know what to do. With what? The fact that I'm two people. My mom was two people. She was fine. But she was supposed to be two people. She was born that way. Well, yeah, but... She was still okay. Her and Priya... Uh, they were fine. They'll be fine. But what if we're not... Then we figure it out. Then we figure out a solution. You didn't have a hand for a while, but we figured out a way to give you one. If you're not okay or broken, we'll figure it out. Twink smart. I don't know. I, I think the fish could really help you in this moment. <laughs> Can I offer you a fish in this trying time? Yeah. <laughs> you kind of somehow hear Hickory, like, laugh in in your mind, but it it's just kind of quiet after that to where it's just like, it, to where, I mean, at the end of the day, she's having a conversation with Nori, so her thoughts can't necessarily be devoted coming back to you. Doc. Yeah. 
I think Hickory is a little like brain damaged as well, <laughs> but not like it's going to be okay. Yeah, kid, the problem is that your mom was always two people or one person that was two. We weren't. Mm -hmm. But are you okay right now? Be be honest. I'll be honest with you here, kid. I'm not sure if it's because I just kind of exist the way I do at the moment. Emotions are quieter here. No. You can always talk to me. I'm I'm not two people. But I know. I can talk to you both at the same time. I know. I don't I don't know much about how well we work in a way. I'm not like my mom and I'm not like you. But I still have some of what you are in me. I didn't get to meet Priya. That was her spirit. But I knew that my mom was still okay, even if she was two people. I don't know how to help you now, but I want you to know that she was a happy lady for the majority of the time. Yeah, kid, it's just... It's scary, you know? Because the biggest question above everything else is if two become one, does one take over? Do you just, does one of us just stop being? It's where, wherever you are right now, I'm glad you're there. I'm glad you're not gone. I'm glad I can still talk to you. I'm glad that you're still okay now. I think looking at it later on, stressing about it now, might be a little bad. When we just got back, I want to make sure you're okay. I'm glad I can talk to you. And you know you can talk to me, even if you're not here. I know I you can't talk to anybody else. Except for Hick, and she's not okay right now either. I'm dealing with Dolas, who is luffing these fish. So I think you should come and see the fish. Is it helped him and it can help you. Her. Not exactly my call right now, kid. Hickory, please come look at the fish. In a minute. Okay, hush. I just, Promise. I need a Promise. second. Fine. But you still can't come to girls' night. Dang it! That's what this is all about. Dang <laughs> it! So Burn you up! As Shit. Twink is sitting in the cargo hold working on Petron's arm. Nearby, at the window, Dolus, quickly sobering up, but still lightheaded, is very much enjoying the fish through the window with the kids. I was going to say, as we get down there, I just want to walk over to Twink. Just, Twink. Quiet. I'm literally whispering right now. Quiet. Yes. So you want us to not touch any of this, right? And point over to all the shit that's not the window. <laughs> yes, unless you want us all to die. 
Oh, that sounds a lot more serious than the way they were describing it. I mean, it is serious to lose your hands, but... They, okay. I'm so sorry. Get back. Don't get back. I don't want to say get back to work, because I don't want it to sound like I'm telling you what to do, but... That is a big window. I <laughs> start walking <laughs> to the window. As everybody's enjoying their view of the fish... Including Hickory from above, looking down into the ocean over the rails. Nori next to her, just rubbing her back. <laughs> Wink works on his thing. Somewhere, far away from you all, Mara trots along on a horse. Somewhere on the ship, Alina is getting some fresh air. And we're all taking a moment to just settle back in. And that moment is where we're going to end our session. Ooh. Nothing crazy. I think this is the first time we've ended not on a cliffhanger in a hot minute. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we really landed on a cliffhanger last week. It was kind of like a chapter close, you know? Yeah. yeah sure. This is a, a very fun session. A good, calm moment. Yeah. All right. Thank you all. For watching Star Lost Seas, we hope you liked it. You can find us here basically every week at 5 p.m. Eastern, except for the first week of the month, because we like to take breaks and save our sanity. And, you know, save our editors. Big thanks to our editors, by the way. You can check out all of their stuff, as well as our stuff, down below. And you can also check out our Ko-fi and our Discord, where you can support us and get access, uh, la, 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 get access to all sorts of cool things. And access like, of cool things. Yeah. 